now we're on. So All right. Really Are we at home today? We at home? We're at Rock. I right? don't know. All right. I'm assuming we're at Rock today. I guess we'll figure it out here in a minute. Um, welcome to Martin Preview. UK Show reactions. Preview. UK reactions. My phone turned off for no reason. Kentucky versus Tennessee today. Uh, playing old Rocky Top. Uh, Kentucky's coming off a win, and uh, hopefully you're gonna play good enough to get another one today. It's really important just to keep racking up the W's right now. You hope that you continue to get better um, as we get closer to March Madness, which which is where it really counts. Um, so hopefully we continue that. I know that uh, we're at the top of the SEC. We're battling for that that one seed. Really, it's important to get the one through four. Uh, obviously, the one through four end up getting. I believe the double buy in the tournament, which is huge. The SEC tournament starts on Wednesday. Uh, we'll get the exact dates as we get closer to that. I know it's in Nashville, which I've been able to go down with Kenny for a year and my oldest son, Jake. And it's a great town, great place. Bridgestone Arena is a great place to watch basketball and other events, and it's a lot of fun. But if Kentucky can get that double buy, they have to continue to keep winning and uh, work up to that point that just makes it a little easier to to win that SEC tournament, which should be very competitive this year. Yeah, kick is currently 12.53. <clears throat> Kickoff should be in uh, seven minutes. And Lee Martin, how you doing? <laughs> What's up, Bird? And Kentucky Fan 15, Ian Eagle and Bill were after me with the announcers. Okay. I'm not familiar with a lot of the names of the announcers, no, but I know those. <clears throat> preview show is making me nuts. And I don't, I don't know. We're, I think we're, the channel we're on, we're seeing a bunch of March Madness yeah, stuff. But, yeah, it should be in seven minutes. Jake is currently at work. He should be here sometime after the game. He's currently uh, scorekeeping for <clears throat> A lot of smaller games. Tried to run him in a shake earlier, but definitely uh, Tennessee, though, as we were playing today, and they are definitely a team we had a lot of battles with in the last year, and I think they lost a couple of their seven-year seniors, but they still, I think, have a few of those guys, don't they? Yeah, I, I believe they've got a couple, and, hey, that's what it is. The nature of the beast for us is we get one and dones. Um, I remember back to the days when guys played – you know, four years, at least three, which, uh, you know, for what it's worth was something you could definitely get more attached to. But UK basketball, as great as it is, is more one and done. Cal, to me, is uh, he's a really good coach, uh, just from my simple opinion. And this is what he does. And uh, you have to tip your hat to him, uh, not only to keep Kentucky basketball really good. We would like to make a few more Final Fours and win a few more national championships. But he does a lot for those young men. Uh, he's the best at progressing them from high school to pro uh, just through one year of college, typically. So he does a great job. But Tennessee definitely uh, has a few veterans. Like Kenny said, some stuck around, seem like forever. And uh, it's always a great rivalry game here with Tennessee. Um, I'm sure Vol Daddy's out there. I don't know if he does his broadcast for basketball like he does football. But uh, we'll go ahead and wish him the best of luck, even though, uh, you know, it's a heated rivalry between Kentucky and Tennessee, old Rocky Top. Wow, so. we're not in. We're not in the top four for any of the regions. Well, that's so. a, that's okay. Um, I know Lee just Lee Martin chatted in there about the preview show. It can be a little frustrating. I mean, right now doing brackets is kind of crazy because some things can really change through uh, you know finishing strong and winning conference tournaments. But these guys need something to talk about, and uh, so I guess that's what they're doing. So enjoy the fantasy, and we'll check out the reality here soon. Yeah, it is February, which means you should definitely start playing your best basketball about soon. Start playing, and because once you get into March, it's obviously a certain part of March. It's win or die, so you have to die that. Or you have to win at that point. You have to die that point. You have to win at that point. But you know what? What is Tennessee? Tennessee's not ranked, right? No, Tennessee's. They're a good team, though. They're good enough to beat us, um, like a lot of teams. I mean, to be honest with you, that's Kentucky. We can beat anyone. But I also believe there's a lot of teams that can beat us on a given night. Uh, we seem to be getting more consistent. Hopefully that continues today. Uh, the loss at Auburn uh, last Saturday was, you know, you, you can't use excuses. But uh, 
you're playing on the road, tough environment. And it uh, looks like on the preview show, they've got us as a five right now, which is fine. We can hide under the radar for a while and hopefully build up steam. Um, Kentucky teams anymore, as we remember back from a Final Four run from a team that was, I believe, an eight seed. That's who we are. We're so young and we have a lot of guys still developing that you never know. Uh, a lot of our, our ceiling is very high and uh, they could come to play, you know, better and better every night. And who knows what we could end up being. But like Kenny said, you uh, get to March, you either win or you go home. Yeah. Lee Martin, five seed out of West. Yeah, I just saw that. Havis is the five, which I guess, I mean, that'd be good. I feel like that'd be, because what, what were we last year? Were you a seven or an eight? I don't think we were that high. We were probably a four or five. Really? Lee could probably tell us. Lee, what were we last year? Like we were eight when we had the crazy Aaron Harrison shot run. That's when we were eight. Which was what made it so quick, crazy. Hopefully Lee will chime in here soon or someone else can if you want. Let us know what seed we were last year. He's probably finding out right now. He's probably just chasing a little time. But like I said, it's uh, hopefully everybody out there is getting ready to enjoy the game. Uh, our commentary, you know, it's play-by-play. Play. We cannot put the TV on the screen, unfortunately. So you're going to be watching us watch the game, but giving as much play-by-play play as we can and description of what's going on. And like me and Kenny have got the first half covered here, and Jake will be home hopefully by halftime and taking over the second half. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he's – He's scorekeeping for like little games, but definitely maybe miss playing this. Or playing some basketball. Yeah, and these little gems. Well, it looks that? like we are not at Rupp. So I, uh, flying home from a baseball practice, it looks like we are at Rocky Top. So this will be tough. At least they don't have Schofield and uh, Williams, right? No, but they'll have 25,000 people in there. They. Uh, well, I know, but at least we don't have to deal with them for the. 10 times. No, but they'll play hard. They'll play tough. Uh, this will not be easy. The environment stuff will probably get homered by the refs. Just prepare for that. And uh, hopefully our young guys show up to play. This Coliseum only basically fills out 25,000 once a year, and it's typically when – it is when Kentucky's there. Um, Rupp Arena back in the day held 24,000 with a few hundred over that. And that was the biggest going next to the Carrier Dome in Syri Syracuse. And then Tennessee decided to build their Coliseum and make it just a little bit bigger, only though they fill it once a year. And we basically fill ours every game. So it said three, four minutes to tip off, and we are a minute away. So it's obviously going to be late because it's always late. But I think – I said last game, Sestina was going to be the play, key player. That was not true. But maybe this game, he can be the key player. Yeah, I, I agree. Sestina has been – I love him. He's a good player. Uh, but I hope he can step up and, you know, do better uh, today. Yeah, we caught that uh, – looks like Christopher is chiming in, letting us know that they projected us to be a five seed, which doesn't mean much. Yeah, I agree with your comment. Uh, that's really confusing. The same, the same profile picture. I thought it was Lee again. Goodness. All right. Yeah. I know the projecting. I mean, especially when they're projecting like freaking November or December means nothing. But in February, it still couldn't mean anything. But since the actual big, the main tournament starts later in March, <clears throat> but still, I don't know. If we can just win our – if we can win some – if we can finish, get to 20 wins and then try to make a run in the SEC tournament, then we should be in good shape for the – Yeah, unfortunately, the, the overall projection of our league, we've been pretty good for the last two to three years as far as depth. I think a couple of years ago we got 11 teams in to the tournament from the SEC, if I'm right. Uh, last year I think was eight. And this year they're projecting five or six – so the overall impression of the SEC is that it's down. I agree with that a little bit. It may not have, may not be as good as the last two to three years, but it's still, I think, good. And everyone always brings their A game to play our Wildcats. Um, anybody that knows sports knows that, you know, there are certain games that guys get up for more. 
and Kentucky Kentucky invites that as our my daughter is chiming in on the doorbell to get in. I apologize about that. But yeah, it's uh Kenny's right. If we can get to 20 wins, I'd really like to get to the low 20s and wins and uh, win at least a couple games in the SEC tournament. Honestly, you want to win that SEC tournament to pick up some momentum to take you into the big show. And uh, I believe this Kentucky team could be as high as uh, two or three. Um, they could get as high as a two or three, but easily could end up a uh, four or five. All right, we're getting ready to play here. Cal's drawing up his last plays. Uh, I don't need that right now. Setting up, you know, what we're going to start with here. The lights are low. They're getting fired up at Tennessee's Coliseum. Like I said, they'll be more jacked up today than most of the year. How you doing, Max? Fun. Um, so they're going to have to weather a tough environment here. Not only guys playing at the top level, but you're going to have 25,000 screaming people. Now, some of those will be UK fans. As everyone knows, UK fans travel well. And it's pretty close to Kentucky. So. And we keep the sound down, so we're not going to hear a lot. We're just watching. Because um, like, like I said, unfortunately, we cannot put anything on That's fine. TV, our TV. You can turn up to 10. That's fine. All right. I'm sure Bill Rafferty will say when this tips off, whoever has the ball, the other team will be man-to-man. -man. <clears throat> that guy's been there forever. Yep. Seeing some familiar faces, but also some new ones on Tennessee. They're, uh, they're battling above 500 and definitely could use this win. Uh, we need it to stay at the top of the SEC. Tip goes to Kentucky, and here we go. I'll be the I'll be the Bengals guy. All right. Uh, Montgomery on the wing go, after go. getting it from Haggins to Quigley, back to Haggins. Haggins dribbling out top looking for somebody. Who we got there, Kenny? Maxi. Maxi with a shot that's blocked. It's our ball. Out of bounds, back to us. Maxi uh, just got one stuffed in his face, being a freshman. Okay. You just can't uh, go up lazily for a jump shot with somebody in your face. Ten seconds on the shot clock. <coughs> we got our, our dog choking. Yes. Ten seconds left, so the inbounds. <laughs> we have to get something going here. All right, inbounds Keep to Haggins. Up. Haggins going left, driving to the basket, wing pass to Montgomery. Back out to Quigley. Quickly. Back Two into seconds. Two seconds. Got to get up. Hook shot. It looks That's like the shot stupid. clock got us. He missed the shot anyway. Um, How we don't know that there is a uh, shot clock. All right, Tennessee ball, bringing it up the floor. Tennessee driving left, going in. Got nice. A turnover. Montgomery got the ball to Haggins. Haggins dishes over to Quickly. Quickly driving in. Nice. Good pass. Oh, out man. Ooh, man, he hit somebody under the basket. I thought that was good. All right, go. good shot. Got a basket here. Two nothing, Kentucky. Who got that? Nineteen oh seven. I think that was uh, Maxi. Maxi with, points, with a believe. with two. Yeah, in the lane. All right, Tennessee ball. Kentucky playing man to man, pretty much on it. Definitely switching well right now. Dish into the middle. Keep him out. For Tennessee has it. Some big white guy, and he turns and drills it. Uh, Left-handed shot. Good shot. Two to two. That's a joke of a shot. Haggins, I think he's done well this year, though. I mean, it looks like he's about 6'10". Haggins with the ball That's in the wing. Foul. He's getting fouled, but he's they're not going to dish in to Richards, and he loses the flipping ball. He was Richards just got Haggins. a nice pass, and weakly went up for the shot. I hate to – he's been playing well for the most part, but he's got to really step it up again. I don't think he's been reaching uh, where we need him the last couple games. UK highlights, sports updates. Let's get this dub. Yep, and then – Haggins with the ball out top. House, UK highlights. All right. All right. Back. UK ball. Haggins going in. Throws. Turnover. So that's one thing that Haggins has had some trouble with. Too many turnovers as a point guard, and there's his first one for today. Tennessee ball. Dish out top. Kentucky still in man-to-man. -man. I can't say it enough. Richards has got to step it up again. Uh, weekly with the ball doesn't help. No Tennessee in for an alley -oop. missed it, but put it back in. Four to two, Tennessee right now. Haggins with the ball, bringing it up the floor for Kentucky. Tennessee's in man to man as well. Dish out to Montgomery. Maxie with the ball out top, driving in. 
It's fouled, and they do foul? call it. Jiminy. Tennessee looks to be a little long. They definitely have some height. But Kentucky does, too. Looks like some good reach on both defenses. All right, inbound to Montgomery. He dishes off to Haggins out top, 15 on the shot clock. Haggins in the middle, dishes out to the corner to quickly, on, quickly, quickly three, good. Nice. Five to four, Kentucky. Tennessee bringing the ball up the floor. Good quick shot by Quickly for three. Hopefully he can get hot today as well. <clears throat> when Quickly's hot and making threes, that really makes a difference for Kentucky. He's our best three shooter. He's made Tennessee the with the ball on the wing, That's three no pointer. Way. Oh, in and out. Richards has the ball. He just he walked just, a country mile and we got just, away with it. They okay, he got it. fouled. They didn't call it, but then he walked it absolute. Ooh, mile. Quickly with a push off and they called it. Stuck his arm out and. I'll have to give him that one. I don't like the call, but he drove in with his elbow up. Looks like uh, the guy moved his feet good enough. And he, he threw the elbow out, which is the Come on, quickly. really the big sign that you have uh, charged. Three turnovers yep. in three minutes. Three turnovers in three minutes, like Kenny said, that's not good. We've got to limit this crap down <laughs> that's bad. if we're going to win. That can't happen in March. I think Kentucky has to be 15 turnovers or less, which is too many, to win the game. Then you're going to call And Montgomery gets a cheap ticky-tack foul by the, our hero, the Zebra, under the basket. And I think sometimes these guys realize these games are on TV and they just love to make their little chicken call and jog out and make their sign. It's a joke. They really need to concentrate on letting them play like they did the other night. I thought the game the other night was nice because they were letting them play. It's yeah, nice it's to watch plays. these. Yes. Just the foul ratios were even. The other night? Yeah. They would let like, things play both ways. All right, Tennessee no. with a three-pointer, no good. But it looks like we're going to get another foul. Sestina did not have position, and he's going to get called for an over the back. <sighs> They're just trying to get our big man out of the game. So we've got fouls racking up and some turnovers, but we are up by a point. All right, Tennessee inbounding. Good, good play. It looks like we slapped the ball away, got nice. lucky. Quickly with the ball back to Haggins. I think Haggins slapped that away. Probably. He's usually getting those steals. Haggins at up top looking for somebody to get the ball to quickly on the get wing. Get shot up. Into Richards, and he's fumbling around with the ball again. Uh, good hand off to quickly. Hopefully he didn't step out of bounds. Nice. He did not. We're moving the ball pretty well right now. Getting in nice. into the lane. Haggins. Oh, Goaltending. What was that called? Goaltending. It was definitely going right. down. I think they called goal. Yeah. Yes, they did. Goaltending. No doubt. It, it was coming down. You, yeah. Somebody for Tennessee got it definitely on the way down, but the guy thought he didn't. So count the basket. Kentucky up 7-4. Easy to four. goaltending. Tennessee with the ball moving up the floor. Kentucky still in man-to-man. -man. Got about 16 minutes to go, so the next stoppage is probably going to be the first TV timeout. So they're looking to make a foul call, I'm sure. Tennessee drives, misses, Richards with the rebound to Haggins. Down the middle of the floor. A good pass to no. Sestina for a dunk. They are not – what are they calling? All right, they called traveling. I didn't think that was traveling on Haggins, so that gives him another turnover. Four turnovers. That, that just can't happen. Like Kenny said, now it's four turnovers and four minutes. Four turnovers and four minutes. It landed good ball movement. Yeah, definitely in that one drive. And then, yeah, you know, BS Cole refs. I mean, there's been that really ticky tacky one underneath. I don't know why that was Cole, but I mean, the one push off, I'll give him that. But, yeah, I mean, that traveling. Yeah, I, I didn't know. see that one. I yeah. didn't see that one. Uh, most of the other calls have been all right. But they were looking to, well, sometimes when you get close to those TV timeouts, you're looking to make any call you can. What do we got? I'll just, I'll just I think it's 7 4. Yeah, I just want to read more. There's some more comments here. All right. Yeah, turnovers, Lee, I agree. That's what that's kills me the most. That's my biggest pet peeve. Landon, try to, they try to get your big man out. Absolutely. I mean, that's they did that completely in the Auburn game. I mean, not even close. They did that. In this one, they already seem to be doing that because EJ's got a foul. Sestina's got a foul. Just trying to get them out for sure. Yep, got to beat them and the refs. It's absolutely. I think 7-4. After that travel, they have the ball headed back our way. Under 16. But, yeah. 
definitely – I like the quickly three. We need to get him for another three and need to get Richards down low. Hopefully he can make some of those hook shots. Yeah, he's got to get he's got to get fired up again. Marley just stepped in here. She's the third wheel. If anybody wants to know, this is our dog, Marley. She's got a big head right now because yeah. – uh, she got shaved. She got shaved in the body. She's uh, probably looking for food, but she won't have much to say. But no, it's uh, not bad. Not a bad start outside of the turnovers. I, Kentucky is um, just going to weather the storms, the runs that Tennessee will make today off of, off of their momentum from the crowd and just needs to play good enough to get the win. I can't say that enough. All you're looking to do, especially on the road, is get a W. I don't care what you got to do. Yeah. Lee, how about the murderous foul on Sestina? Yeah, well, I don't you remember that one. I remember someone got drilled. It must have been him earlier. Well, unless he's calling that over the back. If you're talking about the over the back, that was a little chicken, but he needs to get position. Um, I mean, I, Kentucky, like I said, they, a lot of guys are playing good for the most part, but need to keep showing up more and more. Sestina. I mean, I don't know how the heck we don't get him more three-point looks. He seems to knock them down. Especially from the top of the key. So, hopefully, uh, he'll just play good team basketball. I think limit the turnovers and get the W. Aiden Haynes is not good <clears throat> offensively. I think he's uh, he has he has a lot of turnovers. He does he does have a lot of turnovers usually every game. But I still think he's a really big threat on offense. He's a good slasher. I mean, he can drive. Uh, too many turnovers, like Kenny just said. But yeah, too many turnovers, but he's still a major threat. He can shoot threes. He can drive. But, yeah, I mean, I agree. His, his defense is definitely a big part of his game. How many steals he's able to get. It's like the Yolis, the team. Uh, it looks like Tennessee has four straight home wins against Kentucky. So, wow. hopefully we can break that streak today. Not too many people have a streak against us. No, they don't. I mean, Barnes is a – He's a good coach for Tennessee. Coach to ten or Texas. Since he's been in Tennessee, they've done well. So this will be uh, be a tough tough environment to get a W today. All right, we're three for four from the field right now. Tennessee's two for six. Tennessee ball right now down. Kentucky's up, up seven to four. No, All right, passing no foul. to Tennessee on the block. Turn and shot, no good. Over the over back. the back, they don't call it. They finally got Thank the call. You. He's Richards has got to pick it up physically, man. He's got to pick it up in there and start dominating. All right, Kentucky basketball, I believe. Yes, it is. Oh, and they're pressing. Tennessee's got a little bit of token pressure on. Probably just to slow us down a little bit. Looks like inbounds to Maxi, back to Haggins, and here he goes. Pressure's fading back. Let's find Sestina at the top of the keys right there. There, there it is. Sestina a little too far out and guarded. Out to Maxi. Maxie dribbling around, not a lot of movement right now. Haggins comes back and gets it. There we go. Driving down the middle, back out to Maxie. Back. This shot's probably going up. And alley oop, nice. all right, to Montgomery. Slam dunk alley oop. Nine to four, Kentucky. Tennessee coming down on offense. A little push off, they don't call. Kentucky playing some pretty motivated man to man defense right now. Off a of pick, Tennessee for three, no good. Pushing the back nice. on Haggins, they don't call it. Kentucky ball, Maxi coming up. Back to Haggins. He's driving down the lane. Good pass. Save it. Another turnover. Haggins, a good good thought there, but there's another turnover. I mean, that's at least three for him so far alone. Dang. All right. So back to Tennessee. We are up nine to four. Kentucky up nine to four. Tennessee with the ball up top. 14.30 to go in the game, first half. Tennessee dumps it inside. Montgomery on him. Spin, jump no. shot, good. This guy can play a little bit. He's got, got he's got four of their six. Falkerson, I've heard of him. He's a good player. Good shot there. He rose up and really released that thing at the top of his jump. All right, Kentucky's ball back at the other end. Maxie, Haggins, back to Maxie for three. No good. Over the wow. back on Montgomery. That, that's a that's a quick call there, ref. My goodness. That's a quick call. Yeah, I don't know if that was a proper call there or not, but goodness. Faulkner did have position. How was there even time to call over the back there? Just bounces off his face and he call over the back? We're not going to get any favors from the refs today, no doubt. Looks like the foul totals. Kentucky has four. Tennessee has two. E. Tennessee has ball. Two. 
EJ has two, so he's probably yeah. done for the half. So, Sean, you're a big man out of the game. Kentucky's up 9-6 with 13.50 to go in the first half. Now we got a goofy angle here on the game. Tennessee's ball up top, three-pointer, but they have called something here. Looks like, they, you know, be the ball. Looks like they called a ticky-tack foul on Maxie. And Marley's ripping up the She's not ball. happy about it. <laughs> Even the dog's upset about that call. Marley, take it easy. Rip it up. Good job. All right. Tennessee inbounding under their own basket. To the wing. Jump shot. No good. Over the Richard back there. With a good rebound to Maxi. Coming up the side. Looks like Juzang is checked into the game along I'd with like Brooks. To see him get initiated. I believe Montgomery and Higgins are on the bench along with Sestina right now. Maxi at the top since he's the point guard right now. Dahl tries an alley oop and intercepted by Tennessee. Not enough on it and kind of telegraphed it. Tennessee's ball back at the other end. UK still winning nine to six. We've got six flipping turnovers now. Just... Not good. We have got to stop turning the ball over. We're going to lose today. Tennessee's ball. They just won. traveled. They didn't call it. Back out to the top. Three pointer. This one's probably going to be good. No, missed. Over the back. Brooks with good position and a rebound. Good job. Hold it back one way. Be nice to have Brooks have a really good game today. Stop turning it over. All right. Maxi with the ball up top to Juzang. Out to quickly. Maxi got the ball now. Tennessee playing pretty good man to man. Looks like they just set a bad screen on quickly. Oh, don't call that. And he's on the on the ground. Looks like he took a shot. I actually saw that one. Took a shoulder to the head. I don't think it's going to be anything major. I hope he's not. I hope he's okay first. Let's see. Let's take a look at it here. Uh, it looked like it just a little bit of a stiff shoulder. It could be a foul. I don't think it was anything malicious at all. He kind of put his shoulder into it. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think it looks like a little bit of a – there's something there, but he may be playing it. But I'm sure they're going to go to the monitor and check this out, and I, in my guess, it's not going to be malicious. And there's no way they can call anything. I, would, I thought he I stuck would not, his shoulder into him, but you can't tell really. Yeah, I would not call this malicious myself. Don't go out – don't leave the stadium. So 9-6 to – 12.36, 12.36 left in the half. Uh, seven seconds on the shot clock. It is Kentucky's ball, but they're checking uh, a foul right now. Yeah. Christopher Reeves needs to stand to be like Scott Padgett for us. You know. Yeah. Yep. I agree with that. I'm not familiar with that player, but you clearly are. Um, Scott Padgett was probably about well, same, same size. They're both about 6'8", six, 6'9". Six, I think Padgett was better. Like uh, athletically, but yeah, you're right. Very, it'd be nice if he plays like Paget. We'll be all right. Yeah, right Landon, Kentucky, turnover machine. I completely agree. It's just need aluminum. Kentucky inbounds. Maxi with a fadeaway, no good. Is the shot clock was running out over the back right. on us, but then they don't call it because why would they ever call that? All right, Tennessee ball. Kentucky's up nine to six. We're getting close to the second TV timeout at twelve minutes. Tennessee's ball gets Juzang off the ground with a fake. Drives in, puts a layup in. He just pushed Juzang. Nine to eight, Kentucky, Kentucky ball. Juzang left his feet with the guy's pump fake. For you young basketball players, you got to stay on your feet to guard. Shoot. Juzang driving into the middle, throws up a shot, oh. misses, but he gets oh. fouled. So it looks like he's going to the free throw line for two free throws. And we will go to the second TV timeout here with UK winning nine to eight. Kenny, you want to pick up some comments? Yeah, Red all no, Landon. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Turnovers way too much. I mean, we gotta clean that up. You cannot be turning the ball over six six times for seven minutes. No. You can't be averaging a, a turnover per minute. Which can't happen. I totally agree. It's my biggest pet peeve, and we've just we have really done it consistently all year, turning the ball over. Some games have been better than others, but you can't – you got to get a shot up. I mean, you can't just – in that one game, the Texas Tech game, they scored 20 or 30 points off our turnovers. But yeah. if you take those away, pretty blow them out. Yeah, we got lucky to win that game. He's right. 
Uh, I'd like to look back. I, I know we're turning the ball over way too much. I, I mean, I would think to myself, if we could keep it at 10 turnovers or less, I'll be happy with that. But some of the best Kentucky teams that I remember from the past, I mean, hell, we had games where we had less than five, if I'm right. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, – but that – you know what? To be honest with you, that comes with the territory of the, the young teams that we have. That's typically what you're going to get. Lee chiming in. Juzang uh, does struggle on defense being a young player. I, I think that's the biggest jump for the guys coming in from AAU basketball. AAU basketball, and when you say AAU, there is an AAU that the guys that come to Kentucky and the other good ball players. Um, some of it's not AAU, but from what I've seen from the highlights, they play very little defense in that league, uh, which does not prep them for college. And so Cal honestly does one of the better jobs I've seen with these young guys of getting them to at least try and play defense. And overall, I think we're an okay defensive team, but Juzang doesn't have a lot to learn. Did you just read the Juzang comment? Yeah. Man. Yeah. Man, if we don't turn it over anymore, we will blow these guys out. I, mean, I think it's definitely possible. Turnover is our biggest weakness, in my opinion. Looks like we got a score update there, Kenny. LSU 53, Auburn 42. Yeah, I saw LSU. I was I saw them lose yes the other day, which I guess helped us out for the SEC standings. They lost to Vanderbilt. Yeah, Vanderbilt got their first win in what 700 days or something. Well, that was a huge, huge upset. But you know, to be honest with you, I'm not shocked. I playing at Vanderbilt's not easy. They're obviously oh, yeah. getting better, and they had to be hungry for a win because they hadn't had one in the league in a long time. And they almost beat us. And LSU probably took them lightly, if I was guessing right. And uh, stuff does happen. Yeah, we need Juzang. Juzang definitely needs to grow up. Uh, he's probably our youngest player, if I'm right. As I believe he was a guy that reclassified. Um so hopefully he'll continue to get better and become a dead-eye shooter and by the time we get to March and really help out. Here he is on the line, six foot six, 214-pound freshman. First free throw is good. Doesn't look 6'6", six, six, does he? He does not look 6'6". Six, six. Looks more like 6'3 to me, but um, who knows? I guess all these, deceiving. Yeah, all these guys are tall. Second free throw up and good. So that was a good thing. Hopefully we can continue shooting free throws well because if you turn the ball over a lot, you better do something else well. Kentucky up 11-8, to eight, Tennessee ball. Tennessee dishes inside. I believe that's Fal – is that Faulkner again? Yep. Faulkner turns and gets fouled. Automatic foul. Uh, I don't know if I'm seeing that one. Looks like Richards was straight up, which he's allowed to do. But maybe – let's see here. We'll see a little replay. Okay, he did. He came down into his space. That is a foul. Richards just needs to keep his arms straight up and down. Keep Faulkner on the up. line for two. He's not missing these. Not, not missing these. They oh. missed the first one. Can he put the good jinx on? Get a little. Maybe we get some road biscuits here. Yeah, I doubt it. Oh, Nick gave the Incredible <laughs> Hulk. Oh well, Kenny likes the Incredible Hulk. So I don't like this guy. No. Second free throw rattles in. Yeah, lucky. So, Kentucky is now up 11 to 9 with 11.30 to go in the first half. Hagen's back in the game. Going left. This is back out to Brooks. Brooks looking. Gets Star knocked ball. out of bounds. Still our ball with 17 seconds left on the shot clock. Kentucky is 17 and 5 right now, looking for their 18th win. Tennessee's 13 and 9. All right. Inbound to Haggins. Haggins dribbling out top, quickly coming around off the screen. Bad pass, but we got it back. Quickly out top, looking to drive off a of Richard's screen. Trip down the lane. Good. Quickly gets fouled. It's free throw? Looks like he – I don't think this was a shooting foul, so we're going to have three seconds left on the shot clock. Oh, no, reset the 20 off the foul. You got Faulkner crying here. We don't know what he's crying about. Let's see. You can't. You can't review a foul. Holy crap. They totally missed that one. 
That was a ghost foul in our favor. Thank goodness. Yeah, that was a. Well, was what do you think, Kenny? I say get quickly or mash you three here. Not really mash. Oh, there we go. All right, inside the Good Brooks shot. turn. Oh, oh, Richards with a putback dunk off of Brooks miss. You're saying now get a stop, get quickly another three. That sounds good to me. Kentucky up 13 to 9, Tennessee ball. Here comes Faulkner down the lane. Out. And they call a block, which I got to tell you, just going back to what quickly just did, he better watch doing that too much or the refs are never going to give him a call. It looked like quickly just tripped on his own. They called Faulkner for a ghost foul. And then that guy just fouled Richards. So he called that one. That's true. He got away with that one. But quickly has uh, put an acting job on twice. I would watch doing that. All right, I think he, I think he actually did trip over Richards there, but, no, but not Faulkner. But yeah, he, right. he did trip. It just wasn't on their player. Faulkner on the line for two shots. He knocks down the first. I mean, this is a long, lanky lefty. Knocks down the second. Thirteen to eleven, Kentucky with ten thirty to go in the first half. The guy's playing a game of his life. Kentucky's I think he's pretty good, though. I honestly do, and I think he's probably had a few good games. Quickly, he's got the ball from Haggins out to the wing to Maxi. Get quickly at three right now. Haggins with the ball up top, swinging it out to Maxi, driving down. Looks like up and under, no good, but put back in by Brooks. Why is it so on? I don't know. Good hustle play by Brooks, though. Hey, I, Brooks. I like that. Kentucky up 15 to 11. Dish in, falls to the game. Straight up. That dish inside, good pass, foul on Kentucky. Gosh, darn it. Oh, the fouls are racking up. Eight fouls on Kentucky now, so they're going to be on the line for the one and one Yep, too many fouls. That pretty much was a foul, I think. Well, yeah, but there's just there's too many fouls. All right, let's hope this guy misses. No good. Didn't look like he was confident to be a free throw shooter, and he definitely missed the first one. So that was on a shot. So this was not Wait, a one and one. This was uh, two shots. Somehow they figured he was shooting. So Kentucky is up fifteen to eleven. Tennessee's getting ready to shoot their second free throw. No, no good again. He missed both. Gizang drops the ball. Haggins nice. picks it up on the Slow fast down. break, going in, gets fouled. They don't call no it. No foul. Tennessee coming back. Oh, Haggins gets the steal back, but loses it again. Tennessee grabs it. Oh, nice. there's another steal. Juzang steals that one. Driving in, gets a bumped. foul. They didn't call that? My goodness. Okay, they called a foul. We got the sound it's down. They were, that's a foul there. Yep, Haggins got fouled. Did not call it. That was a crazy sequence right there. That's a body. What in the world? But Kentucky hustled and scrapped, and uh, looks like Juzang. That is good hustle by Haggins there. He got hey, fouled. We're not the one and one. That was Tennessee's. Actually, I guess are they saying he went up for the shot. You can turn it up for a second. Listen, then turn it back down. Yeah, that's all right. All right. Looks like Kentucky's going to be inbounding. Well, yeah, because they only have five fouls. We have eight. So Kentucky, how do you expect the uneven? Kentucky's up fifteen to eleven and ready to put the ball in play. Yeah, landing good deep for sure. Great hustle by Higgins to get back there. Then good job by Juzang to read that. Good hustle sequence. Cal's getting crazy on the sidelines. Kentucky's not setting up for something here. Let's get quickly a three, please. All right, inbound to Brooks. Back out to Higgins. Juzang. Oh, Quickly's not even in the game. Maxi quickly is on the bench right now. I think it's his first break. All right, back out to Higgins. Tennessee playing good defense. Richard's trying to set a screen. There's Haggins off the screen. Point. No good. Brooks battling for the rebound. Tennessee comes up with it. Faulkner got the rebound. That was a two-pointer anyway. Foot was all on. Not good to shoot long twos. All right. Kentucky up 15 to 11 with 9.15 to go in the first half. Tennessee ball. Faulkner out beyond the three line. And he's driving in, and, man, spin I'm move. No good. Good God. defense by Brooks. Kentucky ball. Maxie on the wing, driving in. Gets fouled. Nice. And the basket. And one. Good flipping play. That definitely. Good take right there. Good take. Kentucky up 17-11 with a free throw off the and one done. coming for Maxie. 
man, if he would have fell back, that would have been automatic charge just because of these refs. He wasn't set. He was moving into him, but. Maxi on the line. Being can complete the three point play, and he does. Nice. 18 to 11, Kentucky. 8.59 to go in the first half. <clears throat> Tennessee ball here. Right here they come up the floor. Kentucky's still in man to man. Got Sestina back in the game. He's Just inside up. the Faulkner, back straight out. Up. Kentucky playing pretty good defense right now. Juzang has got a little bit of a mismatch under there. Tennessee Walk through in. lane, and looks like they're going to call a ticky tack on us. I would assume that's on Maxi. That could be his second. He falls down, pretends that he's bleeding, and then it's going to go to the free throw line. And that's Kentucky's ninth team foul. So the next foul will give them two free throws no matter what. That's a big public guy. All right, number 25 on the line for a one and one, I believe. He right, won't King? miss. He never misses. That was a two shot foul, too? All right, makes the first yes. free throw. 18 to 12, Kentucky. With the second free throw for Tennessee coming now. I mean, they're just falling through the lane. Box out. All right, makes both free throws. 18 to 13, Kentucky. Kentucky with the ball, bringing it up the floor. Haggins. Let's get you saying a three. Past the half court line. Looking for somewhere to go. Looks like Sestina sets a good screen. Pass out to Maxi. Maxi through the lane. Brooks up top, driving in, out of control, and he probably walked. Yeah, he walked. 34, sit down, you fool. All right, Cal not happy. I don't know whether it's with the refs or with Brooks, but not a good take. Brooks went into two guys. Somebody had to be open. But that's a young player's mistake, and he's a little frustrated. Uh, Tennessee ball with Kentucky up 18-13, to 13, getting close to the – Eight minute first half timeout. Yeah, well, you know, we're going to have to. Hopefully, the fouls are spread out because you know, if they're not, then we're going to need to either play a really clean, get knock it fouls at the end of this half or just play really good in the second. Tennessee with the ball, swinging it around, looking for a shot. Nine seconds on the shot. A drive in by Tennessee. Good move. We no defense underneath. Basket. 18 to 15, Kentucky. 7.50 to go in the first half. Get you Zang or Sestina at three here. Hagen's driving to his right. This is nice. back to his left to Juzang, and he walks. How many turnovers is that? My goodness. All right, TV timeout. Kentucky just got another turnover. We were probably getting close to 10 for the half, which isn't good. But we still hold the lead oh at the TV timeout. Give me my water. Water. Had to give Marley a little ice chip there. Yeah, let me read some. All right, let's read some comments, Kenny. Landon, all right, Lee said crap. Yeah, that's for him. And Landon, this is why college basketball is unwatchable. I mean, it's definitely fouls. It's definitely a thing, especially on the road with Kentucky and Cal. It seems like they're always against us. But, yeah, fouls are definitely pretty brutal. But turnovers, I mean. Yeah. Life on the road, man. You're going to get hosed a little bit, most likely. But, I mean, i am got to be happy we have the lead with – Racking up some fouls, uh, turnovers. So hopefully if we can clean it up, like I think we've been saying, we have a good shot to win. All right. Refs horrific. Christopher, I, they typically are. I don't know what it is. I, I, I understand that's a tough job to be a ref. Um Someone's going to be unhappy with the call typically, but I'm telling you more so than I, I, we've always felt like the refs definitely dislike Cal. And uh, I don't think Kentucky gets many favors. 
have a proof of that in the uh, – what game is that? Where he gets, he gets teed up a warning and then thrown out in like a matter of 10 seconds. Yeah. That's kind of proof of that. I totally agree. He might get one today. Every play whistle, yep. I agree. All Jim right. Quinn, how you doing? Kenny, let's read some stats here. Where it looks like we're one for four from three. They're 0 for four. We're shooting 50%. They're shooting below 50%. Turnovers is eight to three. Kentucky's got eight. That's not good. Eight to three, and we're up three points. So what does that say? We could be, we could be blowing these guys out. We definitely could have a good lead if we weren't turning the ball over so much, but that's – can't do anything about it now. Hopefully they can, like I said, clean it up. Who's ball? It looks like it's going to be Tennessee ball, isn't it? Yeah, we t- Suzanne turned it over for the freaking commercial. Yeah, we definitely have enough talent on this team to make uh, have a good year and make a good run. I, I'm not convinced it's a team that can win a title, but hopefully they'll get better. And, uh, you know, the good thing is there's no dominant team in college basketball right now. Yeah, I mean, remember we said about the, the Aaron Harrison year? Yeah. Said we couldn't do anything. You're an eight seed, and then we went to the championship. All right, 18 to 15, Kentucky. 7.43 to go in the first half. Tennessee ball. What is happening here? Fulkerson's probably talking to the ref about the phantom ghost call. Tennessee comes down. Look for Tennessee and paper. There, okay. Now leave the Faulkner. Out of bounds. Our ball. See advantages. Get on the board. <clears throat> All right. So you drew a goal. Hagen's coming across. Sestina, Juzang, back to Hagen's. Hagen's throws it into Richards nice. wide open. Pass. Richards goes up and puts nice. it in and one. Well, that was one of the lazier and ones, but we'll take it. He should have went straight up with it. Yeah, I know. Good look by Haggins, though. Good find. 20 to 15, Kentucky with Richards on the line for one. The free throw is up and good. So 21 to 15, Kentucky, 720 to go in the first half. You know, Tennessee, stopping a basket here. Yeah, stopping a basket would be good. Maxi on the ball. Kentucky's still in man to man. Nothing easy. Get up, get up. No, Three that's Three pointer easy. by Tennessee. No good. Back rim. Good. Nice. Maxi runs it down. This is over to Haggins. Here comes Kentucky up 21 to 15. Let's get Sestina a three, please. Please. Haggins dribbling in. Got him. Back okay. out this right. is uh, – had him to Richards okay. for a dunk. I'll take that. And Barnes is not happy. Calling a timeout. I'm oh. thinking he thinks there was a foul. 23 to 15, Kentucky. And I'm wondering if he got a technical. They're turning up a little bit. There's a timeout by Tennessee, but something else is going on. All right, they're going to go to the monitor because they think Richard they're taking a look at it. Yeah, did Landon. something. Nothing went on. If this is called anything, I'm going to go nuts. You can't, yeah, because if it's not a flavor, you can't go back and call a foul, so it's nothing. You I think this is a – yeah, Barnes is full of it on this one. He's, there's yeah. nothing there. Kentucky's up 23-15, and they're going to go to commercial. Yeah, Lane, I agree. Freaking Fulkerson, definitely, definitely annoying. He's good, though. He's made some really good plays. Marley won some ice good and she's running everything. Damn. He tripped. Yeah. And you can't yeah. come back and call a foul. So, I mean, if it's not flagrant, right. you can't go back and call a foul. So, there's nothing. Marley likes her ice. All right. Back to play here. Kentucky up 23 15 with 638 to go in the first half. That was a quick ball. timeout. Goodness. Yeah. Falkerson goes in. Nice. Air ball. Maxi with the ball. Coming down the floor. Drives in. Back there up we to Juzang for three. Boom. Oh. Three ball. Very good, Juzang. 26 to 15, Kentucky. 620 to go in the first half. Got a little energy pickup here. 
Tennessee bringing the ball down. 8-0 run by Kentucky in the Dude. last minute. Go right. Sestina, gosh God. darn it. Gets his second foul on this. I'm, hey, Fulkerson's good, but he's acting, too. Hey, Fulkerson, can you not act like you're made out of flipping paper there, pal? I totally agree. God, you want to flop your hair around anymore? All right. Kentucky just picked up their 10th, Kenny. Uh, I don't know why they're not showing that. Probably. It's a pretty bonus. They're in the double bonus. So this guy's going to get two free throws. I mean, this guy's going to the free throw line. And he's still complaining. What is your deal? Sestina, I think, picked up his second. All right, free throw up and good. Get your fake points there, pal. I guess Kentucky's got over 10, free, 10 fouls, so they're not going to show it anymore. Excuse me. Tennessee's second free throw is up and no good. And I think we just knocked it out of bounds. That stinks. Sestina's had a little bit of a bad run here. That stinks. So the Tennessee missed the free throw, but Sestina had the ball knocked out of bounds. So it's their ball again. Kentucky up 10, 26-16. Six minutes to go in the first half. Inbound to Falkerson up. Tennessee ball, dribbling around. Dish out. He just walked and they didn't call it. He drives in, lays it in. Bad defense. 26 to 18, Kentucky. Kentucky. Rebound that dang ball. Kentucky with the ball now. God. Haggins drives in, throws it up, no good. Got pushed out of bounds, no call. 26 18, Kentucky. Tennessee ball. It's because his hair wasn't flapping around. That's why it wasn't called, I guess. Uh, he walked. Oh, my goodness. That's a that foul? A chicken call. That was not a good call. Cena might have just got his third. I'm hoping it's only two. He walked, though. That's bull crap. That's what you're calling a foul? Okay. That's a bull crap call. Tennessee back on the just line. Give, They're going to get him back crap. in the game. Just, just give him two points. Get him back in the game. Nice. Just give him two points. That's, that's a real basketball good. game right First there. free throw is good. Three fouls on Sestina with no effing points. You know, Lenny, uh, sometimes I said it might be better to not watch some of these games and just see the final score at the end. Second free throw, good. So Tennessee's had a little bit of a four or five point run here. Referee aided. Kentucky's up 26 to 20 with 524 to go in the first half. Juzang with the ball. Maxi. Maxi driving in, throws up a runner. Nice. Says, Kentucky's up eight. 28 to 20 with 512 to go in the first half. Tennessee Refs coming down with more the ball. Points. Tennessee coming down with the ball. Come on, keep him out. They're passing around up top. Long three-pointer. No, no good. No way. Richards with the rebound. Here comes Maxie. Ridiculous shot. Driving Juzang. in. Good drive. Puts it up and in. Not a boy. I'm glad he scored, but I really wanted to do Zandy. I agree there. I was smart by him to drive there. Kentucky up 10 again. 30-20 to 20 with 440 to go in the first half. Stop and go right back to Juzang. Juzang instead of him. Straight up. Tennessee's stoning it around, drives in, walks, charge, charge, charge. They don't call it. What is that Are not you a charge? Kidding me? And they get a three pointer. Dished it after a three pointer. The guy charged. No call. How are you not calling that? 30 to 23, Kentucky with 4 14 to go in the first half. He was perfectly set. Maxi with the ball. Juzang just walked, got away with it. You think he fouled him there? Foul on Hag. You absolute fool of a ref. Haggins gets fouled on the wing, and he will be going to the line for a one and one. I, mean, I, I know why they didn't call the charge because they only would call it if it was a block. Yeah, well, anyone that knows me, I love free throws being made by us, and uh, especially one and ones. I think one and ones are huge. So Haggins on the line for a one and one. Let's see I'd what really, happens. I'd like to see that replay again, that charge. They won't show it. He knocks down the first out of way. That makes me happy. You get the bonus free throw if you get the first one on a one and one. Kentucky back up eight. 
Second free throw coming. It is good. So two free throws made. Kentucky's up 32 to 23 with 404 to go in the first half. The next stoppage of play will be another TV timeout. Kentucky, yeah. go ahead. Ken. Do this free throws. Kentucky was six for six from the line right now. Tennessee's eight for twelve. That's where our biggest strength is. We don't obviously we don't have to make them all. Oh, here's a steal by Maxi, and he gets fouled. He's going to the line for the ball. Yeah. What was that again? That's just the thing about free throws. We don't have to make all of them, but between Quickly and Richards alone, that last game, they were like twenty three for twenty seven or twenty five for twenty seven. I agree. Especially getting Quickly in the line. I mean, if you if you had every play designed to get him a foul, he wants some threes in point production. But that can be a game plan. Yeah, keep up the good free throw shooting. Quickly has been lights out. Hopefully he continues that. And Landon, uh, yeah, I agree with you. Uh, it's definitely – there's certain games where, I mean, now we do the live streaming, so we like to document everything. But, yeah, there are certain games that so we'd be better off stress-wise to just uh, check the score at the end of the day, especially these road games. But still try to stick with the Cats. And, then, yeah, I definitely – Agree, like we we make free throws, but unlike the Auburn game where they're taking 44 out of the game, definitely don't like when I'm watching Auburn shoot 44 free throws in a game. Yeah. And almost set a record. That's bad. Every play being a foul. That is bad. Yeah, hopefully we can. Hopefully we can win. I mean, hopefully we have 32 right now with four minutes to go. Usually my goal is 35. Keep them under. Under 25. If you try to shut them out the rest of this half, hopefully, that'd be huge. And then expend, extend the lead. But I think the main thing is usually when we continue playing the second half. I agree. A lot of the times we start out good. No, I, and we I, don't finish. We just have to keep playing. I think what Kenny's looking for there is consistency. Um, if we play consistent, we're tough to beat. And his barometer is he wants us to score at least 35. And hold the other team to 25, which is a good one. And I, we've always said if, if Kentucky scores over 70 points, they have a really good shot to win. Um, so hopefully we can do that. This may be a maybe a higher scoring game, but hopefully if we play good defense, we'll score a lot, and Tennessee won't. Yeah. Yeah. If you're watching the Kentucky game right now, the Aquaman weird skinny trailer just came on, <laughs> or it's still on right now. Yeah, I think he's a little bigger than that. Well, hopefully Big Blue Nation is enjoying the game out there. A little Saturday afternoon, 1 o'clock game. Uh, we're definitely starting to get closer, getting through February, to our favorite time of the year with March Madness. So hopefully Kentucky can uh, get a W today. Like I said, keep winning and stay under four league losses. I think if they can do that, they'll be easily in the top four and we'll get that. We'll get the double buys. The Atlanta – I'm still under the weather, so I don't want to be mad today. I agree with you. I got a little bit of a runny nose, but it's just normal allergy stuff. Yeah, we're definitely at least we're not turning the ball over. We have done a good job of not turning it over. Knock on wood. This last three or four minutes. And then Lee on the road, same old BS. That's the truth, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's you get homered on the road regardless, but Kentucky draws a lot of fire. Hell, I remember one year when we were when I was a kid playing at Auburn. Uh, Kentucky shot like crap in the first half, so they measure the baskets at halftime. Kentucky's basket wasn't even ten feet, so that was Auburn's ploy to throw us off. All right, back to the game. Kentucky up thirty-two to twenty-three. Three forty-six to go in the first half. Maxie's on the line for a one and one. Shot up and no good. I don't like missing free throws, especially one on ones. That is frustrating. Coming out of a timeout. Of course, all of ours are one on ones. Theirs aren't one on ones. Maxi not concentrating. Not a good miss. Tennessee Straight ball. Up. Faulknerson turns nice. around in and out. Maxi with the ball coming down the floor. This is over to Haggins. Get Back Juzang. to Maxi. Juzang with the ball. Haggins, Maxi. Haggins with the ball up top. Going to his right. This is over to Maxi. 
Maxie driving to his left. Kentucky trying to find something here. Five seconds on the shot clock. Jump shot by Maxie. No good. Nice. Brooks with a great rebound. Knocked out of bounds by Tennessee. Kentucky ball. Hey, Tennessee fan, shut up. He had fun with foul. They didn't even call it. Did not get anything going there. So shot clock back to 20 seconds. Inbound to Brooks. There? He might have. Haggins with the ball up top. Not that I really want Brooks going to the line. Haggins in the middle. Throws up a shot. No good. Get it. On, Tennessee God, ball. It. Kentucky is winning the rebounding wars. 16 to 10. Tennessee with a three-pointer. No good. Brooks with a rebound. Haggins with the ball. Over to – oh, goodness gracious. That was a terrible, terrible turnover. Higgins, you're the point guard. What are you doing? Yeah, that was a – that ranks number one in bad turnovers, especially this game. We got a rebound. No pressure. Haggins tosses it towards Cal with Maxi nearby and Maxi not looking. Out of bounds. Tennessee ball. Goodness gracious. Hey, it's, you're the point guard. Who are you passing to? That's our ninth turnover in the first half, and we average 12.8 a game, which I'm surprised we don't average more. Tennessee ball. Kentucky up nine, driving Foul the lane by Tennessee. No, no good, and Kentucky ball. Haggins has got the ball. 32-23 with two minutes to go in the first half. See, Haggins is a great player, but there's just, he just has that random flipping play. That was game. unbelievable. I, I can't even comment on that too much more. He's the point guard. Who's he passing to? I don't look like Cal. Maxie with the ball up top, driving to his left. Good jump shot. Good. Boom. Knocks it down. About an 18-footer. Good shot. Kentucky up 34-23 with 139 to go in the first half. Tennessee ball. Three-pointer. No good. Bad. Bad shot. Tennessee got the rebound. How did we not rebound it? It's like too bad of a shot. We have got to take advantage of them not shooting well. Just Tennessee up, drives up. in. They're going to get a foul. Uh, it's going to be – it doesn't matter. It's two shots. Falkerson, again, he is most of their team. Yeah, he's their only, yeah, he's only guy. Actually, with a, that was a good one. Nothing All right, Falkerson ball. on the line again for Tennessee. First shot is good. Now rebound this one. Richards must have two fouls as well. Looks like our, all our big men have fouls. Second shot up and good. 34 to 25. Kentucky and Kentucky calls timeout. Atlanta and I agree. They got something really annoying. He's the only guy they fucking got. He's the only guy scoring, but he flops every play. They get all the free throws. Kenny, what do you think? I'm thinking we have Sestina with three fouls, Montgomery, Montgomery with two, and now Richards has two. So they have successfully gotten all three of our big men in foul trouble. Just no more fouls the rest of this half, especially for them. No more turnovers. Try to get Juzang or quick. Try to get Juzang for another three this half because I thought we, he probably is already cold now from his three he made. He's hoping to string together something with him. But get Juzang a shot. Just let Maxi drive, and then I guess just try to get Sestina and quickly back going again in the second half. But there's a minute 22 left, so let's try to get two more good shots off and shut them out. I agree with that. That would be nice. Uh, see ya. What the F on that? I believe that was probably the turnover, and I totally agree. Kentucky's up 34-25. Like Kenny said, let's get two possessions here and get baskets and stops. No more fouls, no more turnovers. Haggins with the ball up top. Brooks, Juzang. He is just walking. Maxi with the ball on the left wing, driving in. Dishes out to Haggins, driving in. Gets the ball back out to Maxi. Five seconds on the shot clock. Got to get something up. Here's a good step shot. back three. That's an air ball. No good. Maxi hit a – looked like he knew what he was doing, but uh, just missed a shot. That was a good look for him. Kentucky up 34-25. 50 seconds to go in the first half. He got a shot off. That's what I'm happy about there. Fish inside the Tennessee in the lane. Back out for three. Good. Made three-pointer. made three. So 34-28, Kentucky with 30-some seconds to go in the first half. Come on, 
Get on the back of the board here. Return fire. We're only up six when we could have been up ten or more. Should be on freaking fifteen. Haggins with the ball out to Maxi. Tripped. Oh, shut up, Tennessee, you pathetic fools. Maxi drives and dishes out to Juzang in the corner for three. Good. There we go. Hey, Tennessee, do that again. That's you absolute fools. Juzang's second three of the half, if I'm right. This could be a good sign for him. To play defense. Tennessee three-pointer at the buzzer. No good. They called uh, on wait. him. It's not at the buzzer. Tennessee missed the three, but it looks like Maxi fouled our favorite <sighs> – Ball here, Falkerson, with 1.9 seconds to go in the half. What a chicken s call! Are you kidding me? You're he, gonna call that? Yeah, he absolutely acted on that one. You're gonna give him two more points with, with one second to go. Falkerson's oh first God. shots up. Good. F you, man. You are a pathetic, excusable player. Good player, but also a good actor. That's pathetic. I mean, right. you, just, you don't deserve these points at all. Second free throw up and good. So 37 to 30, Kentucky with 1.9 seconds. Hopefully we don't turn it over here. Oh, boy. Tennessee intercepted the pass. It's halftime. So not a bad half. We're battling. Kentucky's up 37 to 30 at the half. This is terrible. That's uh, terrible. I know we've been commenting on it. I mean, how do you call that with 1.9 seconds to go? I mean, if you if you don't know what a homer call is, that's the definition of it right there. We're up nine. Oh, let's just let's just give Tennessee a little a little points before we go into the half. That's exactly what that is. Yeah, well, how you call that over everything else? I'm gonna, you reward a fool like that for I'm, doing that. I'm going to turn it over to Kenny here for responding to some comments. But before we do, I just want to say again, I think it was a decent mm -hmm. half. We're battling foul trouble as usual. Uh, too many turnovers. I mean, we're up seven, 37 to 30. And if we didn't have the turnovers, we might be up like 15 at this point. I would think one of the second half, like, you know, Kenny was saying, I think everybody just needs to keep playing well. Hopefully, Sestina can get some offense going. Uh, I think Juzang, that was a good thing in the first half for us. But I would focus on guarding Fulkerson in the second half for Tennessee. They just go straight up. And if you get the chance, and I'd just love to freaking go block him right now. But, yeah, definitely just stop turning it over. Stop trying to keep our big man in the game until they're under 10. And, yeah, Fulkerson is – basically has all their points. And, like Landon says here, half his points came from the free throw line. It's probably right. He's probably had so many free throws. But he is just – I mean, those last two points in particular, that is just so, so bad. But I mean, if we ended the half at 37, they shouldn't have freaking more than 25 right now. Take away his free throws alone. But the three before the charge, the last two points there is just beyond stupid. But you know, that's basically all the comments. Yeah, we got to see the halftime stat line. But I'm guessing we're winning the rebound battle, which is good. Free throws, they have a few more than we do, but we've knocked down our share. Uh, we are in a little bit of foul trouble with our big men. Uh, field goal percentage-wise, I would think we're doing better than they are. Uh, Turnover-wise, it's it's just not good. We we I can't believe we're only averaging 12.8 for a game, but we have a, probably close. What it would end up nine, ten, at least ten. But Hey, staying positive, man. I'll take a seven-point lead on the road at Tennessee. Just, just get it done in the second half, get the W, and move on. Yeah, I think Juzang had two threes in that half, which is big. Yeah. And I think he could have had more. I was saying to go back to him at the five, which Maxie, though, when I was saying that, Maxie made some good tries and got points off it. So you can't argue with that. But And then quickly, like they're showing here, Quickly is another guy. Right now, Zhang's making him. Go back to him. Matt Quickly made one. He's always usually a good option. Then you always I mean basically almost all our players can shoot a jump shot. But then a lot of our players on the field can always be shooting threes because you got Maxi, Juzang, Quickly, Sestina. I mean, really a lot of people out there can shoot threes. I mean, even Richards in Montgomery, they made threes. Well, threes. They made it two right on the line. Of course, if they go to the NBA, you know they'll be making them then. 
we got basically everyone who can make a three out there, but I see you go back to Juzang and hopefully he has a big breakout game here. Yeah, so I think we can make two or three more. That would be nice. Or Dodge choking. Yeah, she does that every once in a while. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think Kenny was basically saying that we got a lot of guys who can knock down the three. But I don't think it's necessary for this team to win. Um, they have to knock down a bunch of threes. I think as long as we can hit four to six a game at least, maybe break out for close to ten here and there, um, we can drive, we can rebound, we can do a lot of things. And this team actually can play good defense um, and has for the most part. Uh, outside of a few of the younger guys, um, I think it's been okay. But. Yeah, the score doesn't reflect – their score doesn't reflect how good of defense we were playing. You take away the BS fouls and you take away the obvious charge call, three points there, that's a big deal. And then here's the LSU-Auburn game highlights. Yep, which we don't know who won this game. It looks tied late. LSU takes a shot at the buzzer and missed. So I guess this game must have – They're in overtime. Auburn and LSU are in overtime. Yeah, I think the Atlanta was giving us updates. Oh, yeah, that's okay. I didn't know that's actually as big of a game as it was. Yeah, I've, we only have two lead losses. So we're battling with LSU and Auburn, Auburn leads for the top spot. Here's a challenge from Lee. We're turning it over too much and waiting too long to get into a set. Not sure why our guards are waiting so dang long. Maxie came to play. I agree. They definitely are going way too late to shot clock, especially a lot of the times. Yeah, I think Tennessee's playing good defense, but yeah. I agree with that. We need to we need to pick it up. I just I mean, you gotta play hard. You gotta hustle. Just give me that. We gotta hustle, play hard. Uh, maybe the shots won't fall, but you can at least play defense and hustle. Yeah. Yeah, I think the biggest surprise, Juzang, there's two threes. And then Maxi has definitely played great. Quickly Kind of wasn't in the lot of that game. See, I don't know if he's injured or not. Hopefully, he's not fucking injured. He's they're a key probably, player. He has. He wasn't in a lot of that game. They're probably trying to take him out of our offense. Well, I can understand why, but the fact that they actually haven't played him in the whole second half, of that first half, is kind of alarming. But <coughs> just quickly had that three. He had the free throws. <laughs> you all right? You choking? I'm but, good. <laughs> but who do you think who do you think is the keep who, who do you think is gonna win us this game in the second half? Sorry to step aside there. I'm trying to eat a snack bar while we're <clears throat> announcing the game. Who's the key? Like I said, who, who I, do we need to step up? My night? comment in there when you were going upstairs. <clears throat> who do you think is gonna play the best this season? I just think they need to keep playing good team basketball. I mean, this team, and that's how it should be, they all have to play together. Uh, there's really there's too many guys that can be the standout on certain nights. I think quickly sticks out as like a go-to guy, but they uh, they all mix together, and it's it, maybe that's a good thing for the final run is that we have different options, and uh, you know they are a team. They're not dependent on just one player. Yeah. Me and Marlon have an issue. Jake, Jake, Jake just is got here, here, so he can uh, he 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 give it for a second half. Okay, just well, you, you can at least give your thoughts. I want to get something to eat. So, uh, what do you need can, to eat? Uh, no, you can step in for a little bit. Only that for going to during the game. Did you get the shake? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, Jake is in the house, man. I, I turned. I was able to turn it on the radio with like 40 seconds to go, and I heard Juzang hit a three, and then we fouled him on a rebound. I guess. It sounded like the radio guy said we're getting screwed on uh, like fouls well, right yeah. now. I think that's a lot of what the feeling is here. But well, yeah, because there was one play in particular where Richards drew a charge perfectly. It wasn't called. They made a three. And then at the end of the game, you see Fulgerson got fouled with 1.9 seconds and another two points. Can you come over here and take my seat for the halftime show for a little bit while I go upstairs for a second? Jake is in the house, though. BBN. I'll yeah, be one, back. one stat that I heard uh, on the radio was that Fulgerson's uh, drawn 12 or 10 fouls on Kentucky players. Yeah, he's flopping around like a fool. 10 fouls. Just I didn't, on, I didn't just know from him uh, personally. That's a lot. The radio guy was pretty fired up though for Juzang City. He was like, Gah. yeah, like like Landon said here, Fulkerson flop flopper. And then St. Mary's gonna beat Gonzaga tonight. I hope you're right, Landon. And then our big man at foul trouble. Yeah, I mean Richards, I think, has three. 
Uh, yeah, Justina has two. Someone else has two. So ten turnovers can't happen. Did you see the bad one? That I haven't seen any. Hagans? All I've heard is just, I just heard on the radio. Well, Hagans, and I'm not. I'm not trying to rip any players. Today's I love all our twice. players, obviously. But Hagans just got the ball, and then he he. We had uh, no one guarding us going up the court. He passed it to Max. He wasn't looking, so it went right to Cal and out of bounds. But. Yeah, Landon's right. I think I heard the foul breakdown was like Sestina had three, and then three guys have two. Oh, Sestina I don't know has who three. Has two. Oh, God. But I don't think anyone else has three. Everyone else has two or two or less. Well, I guess that's good in a way, because then that means Richards. And I guess I'd rather have Sestina have three than Richards, because he's a better big man. Lee, I agree. <laughs> yeah, Lee's been in the chat. I'll be right back. I think it changed. Yeah. You guys get like jersey on and stuff. That's fine. Yeah, he'll, he'll be back. I think uh, – what was I going to say? Yeah, Sestina – I don't know – you'll have to correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think Sestina had one three attempt that half. I'm pretty sure he didn't. It just drives me insane because I remember seeing him in the uh, – not the combine, but the – some Kentucky pre-show thing earlier in the year where he was just making everything. And obviously you can't – that's not the same making a shot unguarded versus guarded in a game. But he can make them. And basically every shot he takes is accurate. And I'm glad juzang has been able to step up, so I'm fine with that. I've wanted him to take just as many threes as him. But I really want to see Sestina taking some shots at the top of the key. That's really what I want because he can really make – he's a obviously a senior, but he is uh, can really step up. That was shown in the Ohio State game where he went off. Why ESPN hype up Duke, UNC? Because ESPN loves Duke. Yeah, there is no doubt about that. <laughs> there is no doubt about that. I, I don't want to get started about the, the Duke bias. The, that's the main thing is Duke I, – I obviously don't like Duke, but more so I just don't like the way ESPN favors them, which I'm not even going to get into that because it's way too obvious. Between the Zion coverage and the Duke stuff, it's All unbelievable. Right, switch, switch. Big Duke. He's gonna be up here soon, but all right. All right, we're back. We're doing musical chairs here. Good and after the most part, we will take seven point lead on the road, play hard, and get the W. Go big blue. I agree. ESPN, ESPN. It was Mountain Warriors. They're a good channel. Make sure you check them out. They do a lot of good things. (laughs) ESPN was running all their games twenty four seven this week, and that's that's hopefully Duke loses. Yeah, that that would uh. That would definitely make me happy. You mean puke? Puke. Yeah. Puke. We call Duke puke around here. Well, Average respect exactly. the program, man. They're they're a good team. You know, they yeah. have a good coach. They've been they've been a great team, and even the uh, Zion was a great player. When they killed us in that game, there's nothing nothing taken away from that. We definitely played bad, but they played great. But the way ESPN favors them, I don't understand, especially for the just the CBS. Also, it's it's almost like everyone. I don't know if it's just the against t- Kentucky thing because the Aaron Harrison year, you never see the Aaron Harrison shots in any highlight reels. At least I don't. Let me know if you have. You never see those games anywhere. Never it was an eight seed beating seeds, four or five seeds higher in these crazy buzzer beater shots. Yeah, we didn't win the championship, but <clears throat> how you don't show those replays, I don't know. Those are some of the best games I've ever experienced in my life. But don't show those. Just show the uh, – the Duke beating Kentucky from a thousand years ago. All right, that, that's enough of that uh, rant. Yeah, as you can tell, that's something that's stuck in our crawl for a long time. Just wanted to read one more comment for JTS Placer. All right. Yes, puke blue devils. Yeah. Yes, that is true. And we had the, a fan out there. I think it's Lee. He uh, he thinks their coach calls him Ratface, which, like I said, all the respect in the world. He's a good coach. What? Great coach. Probably going to the Hall of Fame. They have a good program. We battle them. But we do call him puke around here. But we're going to focus on the balls today. Jake is back in his game attire and ready to go. <clears throat> no matter what happened that first half, you got to always be happy with any kind of lead on the road. And up, being up seven, I mean, I don't, you guys watched the first half. Maybe it could have been more, but it sounded like we're pretty fortunate with 10 turnovers to be up seven right now. Uh, yeah, I agree. We'll take it. I wish we didn't. We found out we averaged 12.8 for the game, and we already have 10. <laughs> Half. And I don't Turner know if you've heard it or not on the radio, but 
Haggins had one that was for the Bucks. I told you. Uh, I haven't heard anything. The only play I really heard about was Tuesday night was three. Because I, I turned it on, I heard – These two threes. The second I turned on the radio, it said Kentucky's lead cut to six. And then Juzang made a three, and then there was, like, not much time left to make a foul on a rebound. Yeah, that's surprising. He has two threes this game. But did, I was just saying, Sestina hasn't had one three attempt. Did that – oh, we definitely had some looks. But was that – did that last play count as a turnover when Montgomery threw it down the court with 1.9 seconds? I guess it – really I guess not it does. I think it did. Wait, well, you <coughs> caught the ball. So you say, you don't have water here. All right, we're watching chili commercials right now, but we are waiting for the second half to start. And once again, just to get out of here with a W today, will be I'll take it. Oh yes, would love to be. A, would love to be uh, two and zero oh in the state of Tennessee these next two games. So we play here tonight or today, and then we play at Vanderbilt Tuesday night. And Vanderbilt just scored ninety nine points against LSU, so yeah. they were due to explode though. And that would be our second win versus Vandy this year yep. if we're able to get it, which is hard. Yeah, what are, what are the keys to success? Just so you know. I think limit the turnovers. Uh, try to get some uh, – maybe hit one or two more threes. But if we can just dominate the glass and uh, just limit the turnovers and dominate the glass on both ends, we should be good. I will agree with that. And it looks like Maxi led UK in the first half with 11. And, of course, <clears throat> no shock, Falkerson led Tennessee with 12. And honestly, I think there's a huge stat that I saw on the radio. Eight points from Johnny Juzang is a major plus. Yeah, that's, that's the lead. Eight points. Two free throws and uh, two three-pointers. How deep were the threes? One was from the corner. Actually, one was from one corner, one was from the other. And All right, Bill Rafferty getting uh, it's his birthday. I don't think it – I don't know if it's – I guess so. He's doing the game today. Might be his birthday. And I would assume we're getting close to the second half getting going here. <clears throat> Is Lee still around? Yeah, you're right about the North Carolina or Duke, North Carolina stuff. I, I was watching that one morning, and every game they show is when Duke wins. They never show North Carolina being Duke. All right, looks like UK getting ready to close up What's, their huddle. So we've had three threes. So Juzang hit two. Who hit the other one? I think quickly. No, Jake, that was quickly early. hit one. Then he kind of got hit in the shoulder. Someone hit him in the shoulder. Then he really hasn't been back in the game since. Are you serious? You think that's what's got him out? Well, I don't know. He hasn't. He wasn't in like that whole second half. I think. Uh, and he's right. Quickly did go out. I, uh, you, I know. It's really, really have a seven point lead without him in. All right, getting ready to go here. I believe he's. That's a guy right there. How he's got to get out of this slump because remember last year how he was great to start the year, then he kind of fell off the rest of the year. He needs to get over that. All right, Tennessee no. ball to start the second half. It looks like quickly is in the game, which is good. No fouls. Tennessee set play. And good block. Oh, good block by Montgomery, and we got a tie Maybe up. Jimmy Haggins a little scrap for the ball. Who's this clown? In a rivalry He's game, uh, that's expected. I've never seen this guy all year. I've watched him a few times. I thought they were only – Oh, man, that was a good block. Oh, he's got to watch him. Are you watch, mad? You watch their watch. guy grab our guy's arm. Montgomery really got What's up that and got foul? that block. All right, Kentucky ball coming the other way. Haggins has it at the blocked. top. Moving right. Passes back to Maxie. Maxie going left. Up top. Get in there. Nice. All right, looks like we got a foul. No. Who's in foul trouble for them? It's Fulgerson foul trouble? call. Richards no. picked up a foul underneath. Well, there was, there was one First one on Tennessee for the half. It wasn't. <laughs> Montgomery really had a good block there. Yeah. That was nice. Was All right, UK inbounding the ball. 20 seconds on the shot clock. God damn it. Montgomery's quickly got the ball, but quickly. Haggins up top. Cookie's back. Quickly. Good screen. Quickly driving. A runner. No good. Ugh. Good shot. I'll take that attempt from quickly all day. Yeah, Gonna knock it down. down. Tennessee's ball coming the other Don't way, foul. and they call a horse crap foul. It's his third on Maxi. There goes Maxi for a few minutes. Maxi was uh, having a good game. 
Juzang back in. Dunk. Oh, that, that is a foul, though. You can't reach like that. Hold that how many times this year. Just go around the screen or go over it. Don't try to reach. It's going to be tough. We're going to have a tough finish to this game with guys in foul trouble. I can tell you right now. Once again. All right, Tennessee ball pass around into the lane. Straight up, Richards. Back out. Good D. Hands up. Still passing No foul, around. Richards. It's full That's a tough shot. It's a runner, oh, and it's good. Bounce. Got a lucky bounce. Kentucky up 37-32. Wow. 18-45 to go in the I knew he was second half. <clears throat> I knew he was going to be a problem. He's hanging with the ball up top from Haggins. Like bigger, out there quickly. Back to Haggins. Good defense. Back to quickly. The shot, Comes quick. running in. Throws it out to Montgomery. Pick it up. Pick it up. He nice. Throws across court to Juzang for three. Yeah! Go. Boom. He is on fire. Go to Juzang. Three threes. Three threes. Keep 40 to 32. Kentucky. Dita. No foul. Straight, straight up. He's going to do his hook shot. Just go straight up. Jake. Tennessee ball under the basket. Goes up and eat. Falkerson gets fouled again. I think it was a foul, but he's been acting so much. We don't know. We'll have to see a replay here. Gosh, that's all he can do. He can't jump over you. It's a freaking. All right, here's the replay. We'll let you know what's going on. Looks like he walked. They didn't call it. Goes up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Montgomery can't swipe. Just stay down, Montgomery. Swipe of his head. <clears throat> Can we just stay straight up? Let this guy throw up his no, he's shot. Free throw up bounces. and good. It's half his points. Is he taking his shirt off? He's going to get his second free throw here in a minute. You're going to take a pee on the court? Keep your jersey tucked in. Okay, yeah, I think Fulkerson has. His shirt for like an hour. If he gets this, I'll bet you eight of that 14 is from the free throw line. Second free throw, good. 40 to 34, Kentucky. With the ball. Haggins up top. Out to quickly. Quickly driving. Quick. He's got and the one. lane up and no good, but he got fouled. Put him in quick. Going to the line for two. It looks like it's two team fouls apiece so far for the second half. This is Juzang's game. <clears throat> Keep it going. Well, Make this be a statement game league. that starts his end of the season here. What's the most he's made a game? One. Quick three, three on, on the line. line. One, three. First shot up. Good. You know, knock on wood. Seven. Quickly has been nails, like we said before. I believe he's shooting like 93% from the oh, yeah. free throw he's line. Like, he's like fifth in the game. 92.5, leading the country. Oh, he is leading. I guess. With a minimum of 100. Wow. Good stuff. Second shot up. Good. Boom. Good job, Quick. He is up eight. He's, he's at the point now where it's going to be hard for him to get his percentage to go up. He's uh, shot that well. But keep knocking him down. 42-34, Kentucky. Tennessee's ball. That definitely can't help. Passing it around. Got him by the free throw line. He Straight drives. Jump shot. shot. That's all. ball. Good. Like nope. Haggins has the rebound. Hey, good job. They might say Moving down the yeah, floor pretty fast. This is where he can hopefully doesn't turn the ball. Come on, Haggy. The ball. Off. No good. good. Montgomery good almost Good try, EJ. Good hustle. Tennessee ball. Good tip. Come on, Haggy. Tennessee passing around. Gosh darn it. <clears throat> Straight up. Tennessee dives. You went in. into him. Good, good job. Nice. Good nice. play. No foul call. Juzang with the ball driving. Good. Dish into Rick. Up 10. Kentucky's up 10, 44, 34. 17 minutes to go in the game. D it up, D it up, D it up. Tennessee ball, passing around. They saw. Oh, good try. Almost. How the heck? Three pointer by Tennessee. That is a freaking possession. Every time we get up 10, they seem to chisel it down a little bit. But Kentucky up 44, 37. I wonder if the steal there. How do you like read that too? Kentucky ball, Haggins out top. The Montgomery for a 19 footer, no good. I don't it's, like it. Come on, he's at least shoot a three. It's just isn't a good shot. Tennessee ball not coming the other way. Kentucky playing pretty good man to man defense right now. Hands up. He just made one. Hands up. up. Three pointer again. In and out, thank goodness. Falkerson with a crazy rebound. Come on, Richards. Box out. Two Zangs, man, driving on him. Foul. 
That better be what a are you foul. supposed to do? I know. As a defender, when a guy goes into you, that's not you a foul. That. Like, what are you supposed to do? There's nothing to do there. There's a foul there. There's a foul. Yeah, he is, John. Juzang's got to work that, on his defense. Uh, you just keep your hands straight up. Lee chimed in earlier. I mean, it's a fact. Juzang's doing better, but his defense needs to pick up. Uh, man to man. Tennessee on the line for two free throws. Kentucky up seven. He's perfect. He never misses. Makes the first. Haggins out of the game, probably right before the TV timeout. Tennessee's getting ready to shoot their second free throw. Makes it. 44. Okay, you throw the ball, you idiot? 44-39, Kentucky. With Come on, the ball. Maxie. Let's get an M1 here for the TV timeout. I you say again. Maxie up top. The quickly. Quickly throws over to Juzang. Down to Richards, back Big out to quickly, and M1. runs in. Shot. Yeah! There we go. Jake with a good call there. We get the and one before the TV timeout. All right. When we come back, he'll be on the line for a free throw. Good game. take. It's a foul you there. Yeah. Keep strapping. Keep playing. Keep playing. No doubt. Jake, you want to? Back some comments. It's on Duke. Oh! <laughs> now, the last time we won something was uh, three years before your last title, too. So not much farther after you. Yeah, guys. thanks for chiming in. Enjoy your your big day with North Carolina, man. Good yeah. luck to you. North Carolina is a good team this year. It's all good. Duke is, like I said, they're a good program, good team, well coached. But we've definitely had our battles, that's for sure. See, Duke doesn't own Kentucky, but they do own ESPN. I'll give you that. Yeah, one. you do own ESPN. That's There's no sure. doubt about that. <laughs> Want anything? Yeah, we we definitely have hit a lot of elite eights. 2012 national title. We've done better than most, and we will stick with our boys. We so. both got to the elite eight last year. We both got beat. Both kind of choked it away there on the Elite Eight last year. So we're in the same boat there. Give you all the credit in the world. Just can't stand you. <clears throat> last time I checked, eight was great. Five. Eight is great. Five is well, trash. Let's go with uh, <laughs> Kentucky. Definitely come out all right in the second half. We're hanging with what we started in the first half. But definitely just need to scrap and claw and get out of here with the W. Tennessee is definitely, I mean, they're battling to get off the bubble or get on the bubble, whichever one it is. What was the deal with the, with the rankings I heard you guys talking about? Are they just in like fake pull for it? Yeah. I mean, I mean, they're just doing different draws to keep things interesting. Let's discuss the screen. It's a discount on the Eve. Yeah, the once, we can, once I can like set the screen, I'll have that be the top part of the screen. We already have it right now. We should have that. We should have that hanging behind us. We should. I mean, that's a good spot there. But I want another one of those right there, behind us in this middle part, so you can see those titles. That'd be nice. What's going on right now? Yeah, this was all right. LSU wow. and Auburn were in overtime. Looks like Auburn takes Jeez. a one-point lead. That should hold. Looks like that's Auburn. That's good for us. Yep, Auburn beat LSU ninety-one to ninety in overtime. That's good for us. I was talking before, Jake. That we're battling for those top four seeds. Can yeah. you get that double buy? Right now, we're tied for first. Then with them now, there's yeah. a three-way tie for first, isn't there? Auburn has two losses. We have two losses. They have two losses. We play LSU in a week or two. You don't like Auburn. All right, we got to scrap and claw here, man. We got to get out of this flipping place. Old Rocky Top with a W. Jake, I don't. This is they've beaten us there four times in a row. So I was reading. I saw they they've beaten us six out of the last ten times. Barnes has done a good job there. Yeah, Barnes, I think, owns – well, not, not owns, but I think he's winning the record against Cal. But he's only been there for, like, four years. So right. it's not like it's – I'm sure Cal knows that the competitor he is. All right, quickly on the line to com hopefully complete the uh, so, three-point yeah. play here. He's actually more respected. He's fine. Kentucky up he's seven right now. Last year he was, he's fine quickly, free throw is up and good. Because they were so good. Nothing but net. 
and uh, 47 to 39, 1550 to go in the second half. We are nine for 10 from the line, they're 16 for 20. Tennessee ball, Hands jump up. shot in the middle, and it's good out. job. Good, good rebound, shot. Nick. No good. Maxi with the ball on the left. No, no, we're in here, Bruce. Good screen. Set to good screen, I hope. Yep. Juzang with the ball. Oh, he shuffled his feet. Okay. Got away with Call it. it. Maxi moving left. Set a screen. You know, that's the same thing he got called for a travel in the first half. No, you didn't call that. They called it in the first half, but if you just watch that, he just shuffled he both did. feet at the same time. Well, they, they don't call travel on the squad. Maxi moving left down the lane. And one. Up and under. Good. Oh. Can we extend that this lead? was a beauty. All right, Kentucky yeah. up 10, 49-39, 15 We're minutes to go. We're balling from a 9-point team to a 10. Let's D up get and get a, a stop here. Come on now. Where's the 7-point team right now? Get a stop here. Let's go. D it up, boys. D it up. 15 in the shot clock. Driving. Yeah, 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 yeah. It almost loses it. Got it back. 10 in the shot Out clock. to the left. Straight up. Drives in. Straight up. Block it. All right, here comes Hands up. No, no, no. Tennessee. No yes. good. Rebound, Falkerson, because Juzang didn't. We got to get him in foul trouble. Why? He, we are lucky he didn't just try to post Juzang up. This is not a good matchup. Can we switch? Yep. All right, Tennessee ball Beat again. Drives He's leaning in. into he it. Walked. They didn't. Good job, Maxi. Kentucky gets it. Maxi, bring him down. Juzang, behind you, behind you, behind you. And he oh, didn't change. It's okay, so reset. Juzang. That's all right. Reset here. Maxi's got the ball up. Reset and get a better shot. Kentucky's ball up ten. Yeah, but even as soon as come back, looks in. like we got a matchup here. Oh, ah, Falkerson with a good stop. Shoot, Richards, Richards with a foul. We How many calls on him? That's three. Who's it on? Richards. Yeah, but who's it on? Jordan. Who's that? Falkerson. Flipping How many fouls he's drawn? That play he, right there was going to be nice. Uh, Max, he was driving in, was trying to alley you. But that's Falkerson, a good play. Falkerson made a good play. That's a good deflection. Kentucky up a, ten. 14 10 to go in the game. Tennessee ball. It's a good idea. Off the it's floor. not like fault. I mean, the guy jumped 20 feet in the air. Quickly. DNR. Oh, that's probably six. Let's use what ESPN's prime time is now. Tennessee ball out on the wing. D it up. Come on, Nate. No fouls. Sure no fouls, man. No fouls. Traveling. Falkerson you throws it up. You All right. Christina got the rebound. Let's Aggans go. Moving up the floor. Let's get Nate a three. Don't. Megan's hey, moving to his left. Good. Oh, almost a good pass, but a turnover. I'm glad that he's trying to make these good looks. Yeah, that's but a good idea. Oh, you fall up again there, pal. Oh, oh. In, a turnover, Art. Yes. All right, good. No review. Yeah, I can't review it. Kentucky still up 10, 13 29 to go in the game. Like All right, Haggins with the ball. Here. Kentucky up 10. Line. Pass on around. Definitely each possession counts. Haggins drives in, dishes out to Brooks, I believe. Little hook. In the, oh, with a, got rejected Jimmy. bad. The young freshman definitely ate Still, that one. Yep. Tennessee ball Still coming the other way. Up. Still learning. Falkerson with it up top. Ball to the side. Kentucky still up 10. Dito. Dito. Dish into the middle. No foul, Haggy. That's a up. tough shot. Jump shot up and good. Tough two. It's a bad matchup. Big guy or small guy. I'm willing to give up tough twos. Yeah. Kentucky up 49-41 with the ball. Haggins drives he, to his right. He flopped! That's not a foul! Looks like Sestina picked up his fourth. Not a good game for Sestina. Whether it was a foul or not, he has given us zero points, which is not good. Come on. Keep I know the guy battles and works hard. I love down? him to death. That was actually going down. They just goaltended him. I love him. Love Sestina to death, but he's not giving us the same production that he was earlier. That was a good screen, though. They just goaltended Brooks. And they missed a goaltending, we think. Yeah, it looks like Brooks' shot was goaltended. Kentucky up eight. Oh Tennessee God. ball right now. Get up, guys. Come on. Big time stop here. Big time stop. Come on, Cats. Big time stop. Ball up top for Tennessee. Driving Straight in. Up. Jump shot up. And nope. No good. Good job. It's a foul. Montgomery got the rebound. Haggins with the ball. Kick it out. Dishes out. Quick. Foul. It's foul. He foul. Another rejection of a shot. And it, first one was a foul. Quickly did get fouled. But it's still our ball. Look, I'm so good at goaltending. Look at me. Some man child for Tennessee is. 
got that was a good one. That was a good one. The other one was that's a block, not before. But he got fouled fouled before he went for the shot, though. Right, right there. Right, Kentucky don't give, inbounds. Don't give the as long as you don't give it their flops. That's Kentucky up eight with the ball. The Haggins line. drives in. And throws up a shot. Ball. Go up. Oh, Brooks with a good shot. There's no contact in there. Jeez. Brooks with a great putback right under there. Under 12. Good hustle play. Kentucky up 10. Under 12. Next stoppage of play will be a TV timeout. He almost stepped out of bounds. I know. Like I wasn't looking over there he either. He wasn't. Stupid zebra. Tennessee ball. Out to the wing. They're going to call a stupid foul. Straight no off foul. Brooks. Straight, Straight off, Brooks. Off. Here comes a foul. Force a tough shot. Good try. Two. See with a, a long three-pointer, and it's good. That's poor shit. That's what a joke. Yep. I know you guys, if you can't see it, that was a really lucky Chuck to beat the shot clock three. That's a terrible basketball. That sums up their program. Kentucky up seven. Haggins with the ball up top. Quickly Answer for back. a long three. No good. Follow it. Good Haggins job, Haggins. Ah, get man. back. Get back. Tennessee on a run out. Missed yes. the layup. Go. Go. Montgomery's got it. Here we come Pay back the other way. Pay for this. Maxi driving in. And what? I guess we got blocked. I don't know what the hell happened there. Yes. He's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Tennessee ball. 10.48 to go in the second half. UK up 51-44. That was a – Are you flipping kidding? That was a crazy sequence right there. <clears throat> Man, if we can get a freaking stop and a score before this TV timeout, that would be flipping huge. Yeah, we got to get a stop. Now, nice. Good job. Oh. Now slow up and get a good, good, get a good shot here. All right, Kentucky up 7. 10.29 to go. Are you fucking kidding me? Got to stem that. Don't worry. They had a really joke three that we can't let be momentum for them. Haggins with the ball to the left. Looks like we got a set play set up. Over to Brooks. Jump shot. Oh, it was a good shot. Just didn't go in. He just he just pushed our player. Tennessee ball. Under 10. Under 10 now. Kentucky still up seven. Got to get a stop here. Good D. Come on. D it up. D it up. D it up. Tennessee looking for a shot. Drives in. Here comes That's a foul. Nothing. Luckily, not called. Nothing. There's another run. No. Ball three by the same. Missed yeah, it. That's awesome. Go get throws it. Throws it in bounce. Guys, come on. Tennessee just got a hustle ball that we yeah, got to have. Hustle-less. That was not good. Here comes a basket for sure. I'd bet my house Tennessee I mean, scores right here. That's a tough possession. 51 44 Kentucky. 9 28 no to go in the second half. No. Three-pointer by Tennessee. No good. Again. Go get it! Effing Here it comes Quigley. Still, Tennessee got the effing ball. Another three-pointer coming here. This one's going to be good for sure, and it is. 51-47. Dang it. Horrible. Mother efforts! Rebound! Horrible. Horrible sequence. This bomb. That was a good shot there. The other one wasn't. Horrible sequence for Kentucky. They got out-hustled, out-played. 6-0 run by Tennessee to cut it to Can four. we not effing rebound? Can we not? 51 to 47, Kentucky. Like I said, a 6 0 run by Tennessee off a hustle. Two three pointers. Dang it, can we not rebound the ball? Can you come over here and chime in with some of the comments, will you? Keep up with them. Lee said sloppy. 229. I agree with that. Stephen Coleman said Kentucky. I'm from Barberville. And he said, dang. I no, Stephen, that is a dang that. comment there. Really not good. Cal I'm not happy with that. Out. I'm not happy with the shot we just got in the possession before that. I mean, I think Brooks is a really good player, but that is not a shot right now that I'm wanting to have in this kind of a game. A freaking 18 footer from Keon Brooks. He can hit that in the future, but not right now. Well, it, to me, it, it's not, you know, it's a good shot. But Kentucky just, that was, we were up 10. And now it's down to four because Tennessee out hustled us on three or four balls. Four. That we had just the same chance to get. Four the chance. Why was he wide open? That's the difference. And right now they've, they've got some momentum that could take them. I mean, we got to do something here to get this back. Cause it's sad that we've played well enough to win so far. But uh, that little sequence right there hurt. Let's here. Let's let's see if we can improve here. Uh, like, uh, this is pretty familiar to uh, the South Carolina game where we're up 14 points and we let a 
We, we just let bad momentum carry them to the lead and winning on a buzzer beater. Let's see if we can grow as a team here, uh, answer back with a little run of ourselves, a little 4 0 run, and stretch this thing back out and start improving. Because this is like mid February, early February. It's time to start uh, playing through adversity. It's not like we haven't had any adverse, adverse moments yet this year, all right? No, uh, we have. I mean, this is good for us anyway, our growth. It's just a little frustrating that uh, I can take, if we lose and play well, it's something you can swallow a little better than. I just think that sequence was really bad. They got out hustled. Um, Tennessee did have one lucky three that there's nothing we could do about. No. But the second three was completely unguarded. The guy had seemed like 30 seconds to set up, shot it like a free throw. I don't know where the hell the Kentucky defense was, but it wasn't there. We said Cal should have called timeout three minutes ago. I mean, it's hard. It's easily back in that now, but I agree. Probably should have called something if we were, especially. I guess, did we just call that timeout there? Probably. I would assume we did. Hopefully that kind of is a TV timeout, right? I don't know. I would think it does, but. What a joke of obsession that was. That is just beyond. There's nothing we can do about the one three, but the this second one. three is horrible. I, I, I don't think that was EJ's guy. I think EJ was running out to help someone out because someone was standing yeah, that, there. That wasn't his guy. I, it was, I think everyone wasn't hustling, but Maxie right. really did not hustle, and I'm not happy with him right now. This session. is why you call timeouts. It's got to regroup. Uh, like Jake said, let's get a basket here and try to pick back up the momentum that we just lost. So they just had the biggest circus act in the history of basketball, and we're still up four. All right, Kentucky up four yes, with it's the ball. Haggins has it out it's top. It's our turn for Let's see what kind of play we drew up here out to Juzang. Yep, out of a timeout, too. Quickly, quickly back to Haggins. Over to Montgomery. Back to Haggins. Looks like nothing's really working. Tennessee's playing good defense. Haggins driving left. Shot clock under 10. Out to Montgomery. Got to get a shot. Down off. to three. Quickly, he's going to have to throw something up, and he does. And good. He that was a body. Not a good shot, but he did a good job. Six point lead. 53 47 Kentucky. 8 34 left in the game. We think that was a TV timeout along with a timeout. Hopefully. We'll see. We're almost in our eight. Yeah. Alley oop dunk by Tennessee. Good play. Yep. Quickly lost his effing man. Back on to four. 53 49 Kentucky. 8 15 to go. Got to an answer back with a basket. This is going to be interesting down the stretch. That's for sure. Yep. This is good, good experience for March, right? Quickly out, right? I agree. I just that sequence really bothers me. It it's seems like we've had that here at Tennessee a few times. We got to get over this. Richards Nick goes up, foul. Gets fouled by our. Oh, okay, never mind. Under eight. Oh, don't even flip and shake your head, Ooh. you fool! F you. You've drawn like fifteen fouls on us. You are the flopping king over there. EJ, you got to know better than that. I mean, you're looking around. Know where you are on the court. Kentucky up 53-49 at the eight-minute TV timeout. I'm going to the line for two. Yes. Richard's going to the line for two. Got to have them both. Have them both. Stop. Score. Stop. Oh, man. I just remember in games past, I mean, it, hopefully we can scrap out a W here because I think that's just not a – you want to out-scrap or scrap for those loose balls. They call them 50 50 balls because each team has a chance at them. You got to come up with more than they do. Seven fifty nine to go. Let's try to get I me. Mean, that's just it's hopeful thinking, but it'd be really nice to get this thing to at least an eight or ten point, eight or nine point lead by the under four, and then just go to close it out then. Oh, it's such a BS foul on Sestino, though. Literally, had a, it was a good screen. The guy flopped. He, like, ran into him and threw his head back. So, remember, isn't that what happened against Texas Tech? Yeah, I, I just – Sestino has – I, I love him. Like I said, he's done a good job overall. But he, he's really gone, uh, like, off the radar in a few of these SEC games. I mean, part of the reason is because they're not even looking for him too much. But the guy can knock down some three pointers. He scored six points in like a minute last game against Mississippi State. My thing with him is, I think he can help us with like three pointers and some solid play. But it does seem like defensively, uh, he struggles a little bit. So some of these foul calls are not good. But I do think he picks them up because he's not as good on defense as he should be. He's got to start hitting them boards too. 
he seemed like a solid rebounding guy. He's got to got a big body. Got to get us around six a game, I would think. <clears throat> How many points does Bridges have? Uh, he's probably got four, five. Four Bottom five. line is, he better knock down these free throws. Are we taking a free throw? Oh, I quickly saw free throws. All right, we're getting ready to come back to the game here. Well, that is nice. That was that was a block. Or that they won't show. Is one who was who was shooting that? Got to finish here. Richards is on the line. And who was shooting the one that got gold? It was, uh, it was Brooks. Brooks. If Brooks was going down, that was goaltending they missed. Yeah. They called that on us. Remember they called Richards for goaltending against Auburn? Oh, yeah. Same thing except worse. No, they'll here. miss it when it's uh, not going in our favor. Like, you know, wow. Game, San Diego going. State, number four in the country, or is 23-0. and 0. I don't think they play the schedule most teams do, but yeah. that's obviously still good. Got to win 15 more to get to our level. All right, Richard's on the line for two, right? Yep. I, mean, right. Should be. I thought it was on a shot. It can't be bonus because there's, there's only four fouls in Tennessee. All right. First shot up and good. <laughs> Nothing but net. Good shot, Nick. 54-49. We're up five. But the shot to go up six. One more shot here. Neither team in the bonus yet. Actually, Richard has ten points now. Wow. Seven rebounds. That's not bad. He did a quiet, going to get a quiet double double. He misses the second. No, Drew Zang grabs it. Puts it up. Puts it and up. In. Oh! Huge play Good by job. Kevin Drew Zang. Great job. Drew Zang's having yeah. a high game of his uh, yep. year here. 56 to 49, hey. Kentucky up seven. That was Third big. Team. Feed off it. That was a hustle play that we got back. I mean, that should be giving the team energy. It's a guy like Drew Zang doing this. All right, we need to stop. Ball Straight inside. Up. He's probably going to go up with it. Good does. job, EJ. That's a Good. tough shot. That guy's pretty good in that, there. That guy, I mean, 56 51, Kentucky up five, 727 to go. Wait, Kentucky's going to play the game of my life. Haggins with the ball. I think Juzang's hot. Get him open. Yeah. Wouldn't be opposed to that. Kentucky's Back to the Haggins up lines. top. Richards to the left. Juzang, Haggins. Find Juzang for three. Over to Rich, or Montgomery. And then the Richards, Richards. Five seconds in the shot clock. Spins. Spins. Oh, oh, no. No. On, on Falkerson. There we go. Get him out of the game. Falkerson's got to have. Do a timeout. Now they did do two TV Oh, TV that is timeouts. so dumb. All right, we just jammed two TV timeouts into a minute. This might be Falkerson's at least his third. Yeah, I'm going to check that right now. All right, Richards with a basket, and he's waiting to shoot the free throw. Kentucky up 58-51. Good run. Good stem back. I, that Chizang rebound off the missed free throw. And put back is a good hustle play back. Yeah. You're going to need that to get this W. After their freaking circus three, then that circus possession. Yeah, we don't need any circus ball. Yeah. Lee Martin said, Nick. That's he's it. About. Yep. He's looking at a potential double double tonight, which you'll take all night long from Richards. And he's really good at the free throw line, but like, like we just example there, he made the first one, and then you'd rather miss the second one. Can't rebound it. I totally agree. Make it, but got me and Jake on here right now. But Kenny is in the. He's on the side when you hear his voice. He's our third guy. I'm in the studio, making sure everything's going good in the comment section. I'm keeping keeping control of the comment section. Lee just said Nick. Yep. Jake said for. I think he's. I think he's watching on his TV. Yeah, he's making the. He's making the. Moderator. All right. Well, <laughs> this is the, the stretch here. We got to get uh, get this free throw D up and just take each possession now, one at a time, and make them all count. I'm sure this is uh, this is going to get probably close again, but yep. just got to strap out the W. Okay, what, what, what was our goal before? Try to get us into ten before we enter four. We're at seven right now, right? We want to line for one more. We have an opportunity to get to that goal. Just keep making our free throws. I'd say go back to, uh, what's his name, Juzang a couple times. Yeah. That was a great hustle play by Juzang. And uh, quickly, too. I think quickly he's due for a three. Yeah. Hit that freaking wide open one. CBS, that's so dumb. You shoved these commercials three in a row. You did our 30 second timeout plus two TV timeouts in like a. I got another minute stretch. Hannah, I agree. Let's go, Kentucky. Uh, we definitely need the W. Need as many as we can get. Yep. 
showing some funny faces from Cal here of reactions to the game. That's a huge stat right there, points in the paint. 30, the Kentucky, 32-16 to 16 points in the paint. Doubling them. Look at the bench points. And that's huge, too. We're out scoring by 14 in the bench points. Up 17-3. Need one more three-pointer than us. <clears throat> one more, yeah. Well, I mean, that, that one guy alone had three threes this half. Yeah. Pretty sure. All right, getting ready to get back to action here. Nick going to the line for one. Yep, Nick at the line for one free throw, guys. We're up seven, 58-51. 7 to go. I agree, Hannah. I think a 2C would be a great goal to have right there. That would also help with uh, location, too. Free throw up and good. good. Knocks it down. 59-51. Kentucky, uh, Tennessee's ball. Coming up the floor. Under seven. Got a D up. Don't foul. <clears throat> Don't foul, Heidi. Just trip. straight up. Good job. Good hands. Good feet. Yeah, the team fouls are even at five. So each team has uh, at least one to give Come on, here. Come on, Brooks. Brooks good, good, job, good, Brooks. Defense. good defense. Oh, that looked like it was all Tennessee. Good job, Brooks. Good energy. Looks like it's going to stay Tennessee ball. And we are like from the – okay, we're back. Nine seconds in the shot clock, guys. Tennessee ball. way outside. Up top, here comes the uh, yep. flinger of the Circus three. There goes shots. another one. He missed. Or Brooks, the back. Brooks with a good rebound. Good position. Good job, Brooks. Good job. Haggins with the ball. Kentucky up eight, 59-51 with 6.28 to go. Quigley up top. Juzang. Haggins. All right, let's okay, keep use the screen. Now it's time to go. But make sure you're set, Nick. Make sure you're set. Make sure you're set. All right, Haggins driving in the middle. This is out there quickly. Quickly driving oh, in. The runner, it. and it's no, good. That's a great no play play in there. there. Good job, Quick. Kentucky up 61-51. 6.04 to go. Let's get a stop here. TC yep. ball. Come on, guys. It's time to the start. Foul. Almost a back pick there by Haggy. Straight up. Tennessee in the lane, throws it to Faulkner. Make him hook it, make him hook it, make him hook it. Make him hook it. Jump shot. Shot. No good. That's Over the back. That's us. Uh, they're keeping it with Tennessee, and that's wrong. Reverse it. Can't right. review it yet. Great defense can go to the ref and Looks like it's going to gonna stay Tennessee ball. 20 seconds in the shot clock, not a full 30. All that's right, top two. Jumper. Top two. Good. Top two. 61-53 Kentucky with 5.43 to go. Keep making those circus shots. That's a tough two, man. Keep allowing those. If we keep Haggins to quickly, shots, quickly to Juzang. Juzang's got shots. the ball up top. Out to Haggins. Player, but still. Aggie driving. Oh, he mm. had Richards open. Goes out to Juzang. Take this. Yeah, Juzang got to take that. Aggie's going to go three. Nope. Just Dishes over to Quigley. He drives and in. And one. Hunter and one. Well, missed it, but he's going to the free throw line for two. Quick, quickly going to the line for two. Five eighteen to go. Why good possession. Not too. taking it. He's four for he's four. Been, he's, he's, been, he's playing mature right now a little bit. Well, no, I, I like he's playing that he's, he's not selfish, but he's four for four. Hey, but instead though, we got we got a high percentage guy going to free throw line for two shots. I agree. Yeah, he should shoot quickly it. on the line Zang for two. I will. And the first one is up and good. Nice job, quickly. I know, nine. I know. Sharon's out there. You're. Is she out there? Yeah. I think she was watching. And she likes that. she likes guys that knock down free throws. Yeah, this is definitely one of them. Quickly, he's getting ready to shoot his second one. It's up and no good. But, but we got a tip and uh, missed. I'll be damned. That's rare. He's like Came seventeen for eighteen. We definitely shouldn't have chased him. All Three right, teams. Kentucky up sixty-two fifty-three with five oh eight to go. Oh, that's okay. At least he was there to try. Tennessee looking for a shot. <clears throat> Kentucky d up, man. Under man. five. Out to the wing. This one's going up. Three-pointer by Tennessee is good. Gosh darn it. Who is that guy? He takes he's, threes? He's too he's good. 62 to 56, Kentucky. Tennessee just won't go away. Oh, I, wasn't told you, sir. I don't think it was. Is that him? I thought it was someone else. Juzang up top with the ball. That was 35. They showed the wrong Out guy. too quickly. Over to Haggins. Good possession here, guys. Come on. Yep, need a basket. It's open. Quickly, Quickly off the screen. No, nope, nothing there. Quickly takes back out, out to Haggins. Haggins. Under 10 on the shot clock. Zang, get open. Haggins driving down the lane. And one. Puts it up and That's in. That's a foul on! Good job. No foul call, but he got the basket. How is that not a foul? 64-56 Kentucky. Up eight, up eight with 4.15 to go. 
Tennessee ball. Good man to man defense by Kentucky. Tennessee driving into the middle. Good stop. Uh, oh, this is kick. probably going to stay Tennessee ball. It should have been a kick on us. Four oh four to go. The next stoppage of play will probably be a TV timeout. Yep. This idiot complains about every it's call, even when it See goes his way. Kentucky up 64-56. No, don't be Tennessee the inbounding. Line. You know we can play. Faulkner's got his like left. left. This game Tennessee in the lane. Basket. Got a layup. So Kentucky's only up six now. Under four. Under four. Got to get another basket yep. here. Haggins with the ball up top. Little lob play to Nick here. Little pick and roll type deal. To the CBS jinxing. Back to Haggins. Haggins is dribbling around up top. Quickly on the left. Under 10. Starts driving. Pull up shot. He gets fouled. And one. Nope. Right. Good job by Quick. Two, two throws, going to line for two. TV timeout. 3.33 to go in the game. Kentucky up six. 64-58. I do agree, Hannah. We do definitely have a chance. We are kind of a young team, but we will get it together. That's usually how each year goes. We're young to start, and as the year goes on, we're still – I mean, most of our teams, guys, are still growing in March, which is crazy. It's like – that's why that, that uh, team that went to the championship game, but they lost. I mean, they really didn't start playing, hitting their stride till I remember, I remember for a fact, we didn't really start playing well till the SEC tournament. Uh, with Aaron Harrison's freshman year. Because I remember my dad was at a baseball game. And we were down by like eight. I'm like, this team just isn't going to make a tournament this year. And then we went on like a 22-2 to two run. I was texting all these updates, like Dakari is playing well. And that just – that sparked, even though we didn't win the SEC uh, championship that year, obviously it sparked us to a championship run, even though we didn't cap it off like we should have. And that team had lost like 12 games in the regular season. I agree. Mm -hmm. We were talking about it earlier, just how Kentucky's so young, so you never know. Their ceiling so high, uh, more than most, that you don't know what they can end up being. So makes you a little nervous, but it's uh, definitely good to know that they can get that much better to make a run. Yeah. I still don't see a championship out of them, but weirder things have happened. I get and, lucky. Uh, we'd like to at least make the final four. So, I mean, to win a championship, obviously you have to be good enough, but you also have to be a little bit lucky. That's usually how – I mean, there's a lot of games. What is it, you have to win six games to win it all? Yeah. Or is it six? six? In the NCAA tournament. That's a lot of games. High stakes games. Well, we're in commercial break here, waiting for it to come back. No more TV timeouts left. Yep. I think each team has two timeouts left to call. But uh, Kentucky needs to knock these free throws down and just finish. <laughs> up, wait, so we're up. I think we're up six. Six with the with one line. Two free down. throws. Mm. I'm surprised he gave him that foul. How did Richards not tip in that ball? It's because Nick has well, done really all, well, but that's yeah. I think for one case, he's trying not to goal time either. Like you have to make sure it's coming off yeah. the rim, so you're not really. I mean, obviously. Probably he's probably everybody else, but he's probably trying really hard not to go his hand. It's not easy, but I'm saying like it almost I mean, I mean, the, the view league. we have is pretty terrible. I know. We almost had a huge upset at the park at the Red Flex today. Seven two game. The seven C was up by like one and a half. Then the two seed won by twenty five or twenty in the end. It was nine eight at the half, and then it was thirty. Yeah, when I walked in, I walked in, it was kind of good team. It's kind of sad because I missed playing in like those games. Yeah, that gym is pretty nice there, though. We should be played there. Yeah, I, I don't think we ever played there. We always played at McNick's uh, other gym, remember? Yeah. Or like auxiliary gym? The last gyms I played in was Nagel and Mercer. Oh, yeah. That was my, my last game. the KBA game. Middle, middle School, the high big, school. Well, actually, Nagel was the last game. The championship was in Nagel. We lost. Junior, senior, senior. We made the championship. All right, Quigley on the line. We're history. back. The first free throw is up and good. He's back for another streak. He's out quick. That's not Jason. I mean, yep. Quigley just had to get his concentration back. Five for six today and 92.5% for the year. Leading the country. Second free throw awesome. is up and good. 66 to 58. Up eight. Up eight. <clears throat> three, three, three to go. 
Who's going to let it roll like Arkansas did with like oh. five minutes ago? Gosh. Tennessee with the ball. Man. Dribbling down. Looking Dude, for a shot. Teed up. Teed up. Switch. Switch. All he right. walked. Back he out. just walked with it, too. Tennessee shoots up a three, and it's good. Unbelievable. Six to six to 51. Four threes for that guy. Kentucky's well, up five good. because we got some we should play like that freaking hero game. idiot. Cool. Got some idiot who decides to play. Anyway, shots. Kentucky's here. I'm going to pretend like I'm a good player. Yeah, this guy, wow. I guarantee he's not average. He's not averaging over 10. If he played like that every game, guys, he, they won up 13 wins. Agnes with the ball up top. Kentucky up five. Under 10 on the shot clock. Yep. Got to go. Out there quickly. Drain it. He's driving, he's driving in. in. Runner blocked. Blocked. All right. Going to have to scrap Good this. Good stop, boys. Ball. Kentucky up five. 2.37 to go. Yes. Freaking deny that a-hole the ball. Mm -hmm. D up. Don't let him shoot either. Maxie back in the Straight game. Up, Brooks. He's saying. Straight up, Brooks. Tennessee, Straight up. another three-pointer, and it's no good. Yeah, good, board, good, board. good board, Haggy. Good board. Haggy with the hey, ball. Let's just chuck up threes to win the game. Coming You're down the floor. Yes, so Take our time. On to 2.15 to go in the game. Kentucky up five, 66-61. Maxie with the ball. Attack the basket. Haggins. Make him foul. Yeah, get quickly to We're the free throw line. Richards with the ball down below gets it knocked nice. out of his hands or foul. One and one. See, that just that just doesn't show like longevity yeah. in the program. Let's go into March Madness. This is our game plan. We'll just throw up random threes and then We're just not going to be in March Madness. No, they got Tennessee's got a guy that's like anybody seen the movie. Uh, they had a guy named Set Shot Buford. Man, the guy like stands still and chucks up threes, and that's what this guy's doing. Richards on the line for a one and one, which, as everybody knows, What's I a, like, do we know that? I like made free throws, but I definitely want made one of ones. Isn't it one of one, two shots, one of one? All right, first free right, throw. It's one of one until there's 10 team is fouls. Is up and good. Not a boy. That makes me happy. Up six. Love when we make free throws, especially one of ones. Kentucky up six with the second free throw coming here soon. Nick is 74.5% for the year. That's pretty good for a big man. His second free throw is up and good. Nothing but that. 68-61, Kentucky. Seven-point lead with two minutes to go in yep. the game. Let's get a stop. Tennessee coming down, Let's looking for a haymaker. Out, seriously. Make him shoot over you. Come on, D him up. Straight up. There's a three-pointer again. Why no good. Brooks with nice. a good rebound. Good shot, Brooks. Ball. Take this under. Yeah, so slow it is. up. Long Kentucky. possession and drive the basket hard. Kentucky up seven. One forty to go. Haggins dishes Switch over it. quickly. There you go. Over to Maxi. Hey, Maxi's doing Haggins. a score. Double team. Maxi with the ball drives in out Great the kick. quick. Quickly for three. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There we go. Good job, quick. That could be a dagger. Kentucky up ten. Seventy-one sixty-one. No fouls. No turnovers. Haggins almost with a steal. No. Oh, nice. good, good, good job. Foul. That's good okay. Good job. Good job, Brooks. Brooks you probably blocks it, too. Tennessee, they will be going to the line for two. That is a good foul. Because it was going to be a dunk out. anyway. And Brooks isn't even in foul trouble. He has to commit a bunch of times. Quickly with a big three-pointer. Quickly. Yep. That's what he can do. All right. Kentucky up 10. You, Tennessee on the line. Nick is probably going to get both of these. He misses oh! the third. Oh! Biscuits. Right road biscuits. We might get road biscuits here. Nick has improved a lot this year compared to some of the others. Oh, yeah. This is a huge improvement from his freshman and sophomore seasons. Cal coaching him up big, on the sideline. Second free throws up and good. Good foul. Nine-point yeah, lead good for foul, Kentucky. 71-62 with 121 to go. I'm sure we're going to get some pressure here now. Yeah. One more one and one, too. No, Aggie no bonus rest to game. throw the ball in. Maxie and quickly. Yeah. There it is. Into Maxie. He turns. He's getting fouled. He's getting fouled. To the middle, back to Haggy. He almost walked. Wow. And he fouled Maxi. Goodness. Five they just don't call traveling like they used to. Thank no. goodness. Is it the bonus now? It's, it's still a one on one. It's the last one on one. Can see it? Once it gets to 10, then it's, tough, then it's two shots for the game. That is right. Tennessee's got 19 fouls. So this is the last one on one. Though. After this, we get two all the no, rest they, of the game. They stop showing, but then if there's a plus next to the bonus. I mean, it's, it's a double bonus. Haggins on the line, our point guard. Got to knock him down for a one and one. As a point guard. First shot up and good. Why that away. That away. Because it, I don't know why. I guess because we don't want to foul him stupid. He's, he's, they're in the bonus. 72 62 Kentucky with 116 to go. Second free throw coming. 
Up 10, shooting one more free throw. Aggie is 80% from the line, which is good. We need Up 11. Better. Got both. They can pick it up. 73-62, yeah, Kentucky. 1-14 to go. No threes. Tennessee with the ball. Going to chuck up a three. He's driving. No fouls. Make him eat it. Back out for Hands a three. Up. That is no, no good. good. Tip, tip in, no good, but Brooks, Brooks fouls. Damn it. Brooks, what? that was not a good foul. Like, he was probably going to tip it in, but he should have rebounded, though. Wow. I didn't see it. That's a good foul, Brooks. Come on, man. All right, Kentucky up 11, 104 to go. The Tennessee's back on the line. I didn't see a foul. Lee just said bang. Yep, that was a bang three there. All right, Tennessee's first free throws up and good. Good. Ten point game. Minute four to go. You push him? Tennessee's gonna call timeout. The blues gotta finish here. All right, second shot's up and good. I don't call timeout. Tennessee pressure he's on full court. Inbounds Thanks. to Maxi. He's getting Thanks. double teamed. He's dribbling, trying to get out of it. Haggins Good hits the God. ball, gets fouled. That's so nice. We have like three point guards because then anyone can dribble. And really, Haggins, Maxi, or Quickly, or I'm, I'm good with any of them going to the line. Or yeah, yeah, or Richards. Like Quickly's the best, but they're Good all one. they're all good percentages yeah. for the line. One minute to go two in the shots. game. Kentucky up nine, with Haggins on the line for two. Yep. Really, no more one on ones. Our worst free throw shooter was freaking literally Whitney. He's like yeah. team. And Brooks a little bit. Yeah, Brooks. He made the first. Yeah. Back up ten. Even but though we have this you think about horrible it. angle. Now, what Everyone the, except for Brooks is a good free throw shooter, basically. Kentucky up ten. With Richards. Hagen's second free throw coming. It's up and good. All right. Hagen back in the bounce. 75-64, Kentucky. Under a minute. Tennessee coming down, looking for a – Three pointer on no threes. Here's their hero. No threes. No threes. And no let, threes. Don't let him no get threes. that up. And he gets it up anyway over Nick and barely misses. <laughs> what a joke. Come on, Nick. They're not going to foul. Max yeah. is fouled. Up 11. Go to the line. Five to go. Kentucky's up 11. Going to the free throw line for two. Uh, Rye ripped. This would have been a much more fun game if they still had Turner. I agree. That's out of sad that they lost Turner like that. Karen Martin. Uh, Definitely go go cats and then go cats. Uh, Matt Meeman said, or whatever, "Sorry if I pronounced that wrong." Thanks for the play by play. Stuck at work. I know I was stuck at work for the first Max half. Free no, throws no up problem. and good. Up twelve. Up twelve now. Now you're got to start talking about. I believe Kentucky was only favored by two or three in this game. Really? So I think yeah, two and a half. They might have gone up because everybody bet Kentucky. 77-64, Kentucky 13. up 13 with 43 seconds to go. Under no 40, fouls, guys. Under 40 seconds. Let them chuck those damn threes now. And no fouls. Just get a hand up. No foul, Brooks. Man, he almost did. No good on the three-pointer. Max, he gets the rebound. We're going to shoot one more time. We're not even going to foul. We're going to shoot one like. more time. Wow. Not even going to foul. No, Cal's not going to let him shoot. Ooh, Max, he's got the ball. We're going to have shot clock violation, Cal. No, hey. Doesn't you're gonna bother the spread, even though I don't know what the over-under is. That'd be interesting. Nobody, Haggins nobody back to Maxi. They're just dribbling it out. 12 seconds to go. There's only five seconds on the shot clock, so it's there is going to be a turnover here. Not take a shot. Don't yeah. add to our turnovers. Come on. All right. We dribbled it out for a shot clock violation. It's just – it is what it no, is. Just, uh, it's more disrespectful to not take a shot. Let's think back to when Tennessee a year ago. Remember they had a dunk with two no. seconds to go? No, no, stick it up. It's horrible. horrible. You see what I'm saying? It's almost more no, but, embarrassing to them to do that, but it yeah, is what it is. Tennessee exactly. inbounds and doesn't even try to shoot. So, because, you see Good class from both coaches. <laughs> Cal shaking hands. Kentucky yeah. with the W, 77-64. Good road win. Yeah, here's my reason. It's more, it's more disrespectful to, to not take the shot. Kenny's taking over for me. Okay. It's more disrespectful to not take the shot because then you make them have to take it out of bounds yeah. versus if you shoot it, then the game would just end right there. Exactly. You think it's rebound. So it's more disrespectful to not take the shot. Cal, but here's the other thing, though, we're with not Cal. Rip Cal okay, let's, it's uh, let's, stupid. Let's, we're not going to start, we're, we're start ripping Cal, but we do not like when Cal goes to shake hands when there's like 20 seconds on the, on the, on the game clock. Sure, that was weird. Finish the flipping game, okay? But uh, Evil Monkey just asked, y'all from Kentucky, we are – we are really close to five Kentucky. Minutes we're away. Like, yeah, we're, we're in uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, but we're like five minutes to the border. Yeah. Uh, it's an hour drive to Lexington. We are a lot of families. Yeah, from a lot of families. Matt, lights out. Go Big Blue. Yep, go Big Blue.
Good win today. Now we're 18 and five, eight and two in conference play, tied for first place in the SEC. The goal should be to get one of those top four spots. And uh, next game is Tuesday night at Vanderbilt, who we've already beaten one time this year. Yeah, I lost my hat to that game. <laughs> Mountain Warriors. Uh, yep, really good road win. Juzang may have arrived. Lee says could could defend better. Hey, Juzang's he's there, man. He, we just gotta keep him keep him going. And thanks, Lee. No yeah. problem. Thanks for tuning in. Hope, hope to see you over here for a game soon. Yeah, thanks for everyone tuned in. And I guess a little finishing thoughts, I guess. Yeah, definitely Juzang, very happy, making at least three threes, scoring 13 points. Wait, was it three or two? For what? Juzang. Three threes or two threes? Yes, yeah, three. Yeah, three, thanks. Yeah, great game by him. Love to see him showing up uh, quickly, still playing consistent as always. Richard's good. I'd like to see Sestina get more involved in the future. That's my biggest uh, gripe. But then after that, I'm glad to get the win, and let's get to uh, 20 wins. Aside from Juzang obviously being a huge factor today, I think another huge takeaway here is how we responded to a really tough spot there around eight minutes ago. Remember, they hit a lucky miracle three after a great defensive possession. Then we, they out hustle us like three times, drill another three, cut it to four, and we answered. Huge answer there. Yeah. I think free throw shooting was a big key today because obviously we uh, didn't shoot as much. I think we rebounded really well. Brooks, even though the stat book may not show it, he really dominated really well in the glass on some of those yeah, plays. He and he, he was, he he was giving up. effort. He, he did. He was really good in the glass. Wait, what's this? He snapped the streak on. Yeah, and we just snapped yeah. a big streak. The last time we beat Tennessee at Tennessee was with Carl Anthony Towns and Willie Colley yeah, Stein yeah, in 2015. Yeah. So it's a big time win there. And get uh, Cal even with Rick Barnes out of Tennessee, I'm pretty sure. I think we were losing the series t six to five, possibly, like when since Rick's got there. But now it should be six six. But I'll double check that. Probably, I might be wrong on that. And Sharon Ludwig, yep, definitely happy to have the win. Sharon, Sharon Ludwig says, live across the river in Ohio. Yes, right across from the river. I actually cross the river every single day almost. For uh, school, I should go to. What am I gonna say? Did you read the Matt? The yeah, one. Yeah, definitely. We're definitely Reds fans. Oh, wait, I didn't say one. No, you said uh, I live in. I'm guessing you're saying Covington, C O B, and then you love the Reds too. We definitely are Reds fans. It's been very brutal being Reds fans mm -hmm. the past uh, so many years, but still Reds fans. All right, the sad Reds. that Tweed got traded, but you know we're definitely not gonna Covington. do live stream for Reds games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good tell you, gentlemen. We may do like the last inning, maybe for the playoffs, because yeah. we are Reds fans. We, we're not fair weather. We're, we've been Reds fans our entire lives. We yeah. have footage of us cheering, of Mikey cheering at a Reds game, and we're like <laughs> the worst team in the MLB. <laughs> yeah, it's been a rough it. road, but the only thing we cheer for is uh, uh, good plays pizza. and also for pizza. Remember the <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty shut it off. Well, guys, really appreciate everyone tuning in here today. Uh, glad to get the win. Sorry I missed the first half, but uh, we have multiple people that can run this channel. Really and uh, I had to do work. So uh, be ready for our live stream Tuesday night. We both should be good for that. Wait, I don't are we, work. Are we Tuesday, then Wednesday? No, it's not as it's just random. I think we're, I'm pretty sure we're Tuesday night. Let me double check really quick. Yeah, because, I mean, usually it's the Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Saturday. Tuesday, but, Saturday. And then what is next? The week after that is Tuesday, too? Oh. Next, no, next, after that, Tuesday. Oh, yeah. We have no more Wednesday games. I was just saying, just the, the next TV. week is Wednesday. I had a class on my birthday. But yep, the rest of your guys should be uh, Tuesday, Saturday. Uh, so, yeah, thanks again for tuning in, everyone. Uh, yeah, it was a really good offseason, Matt, for the Reds. I agree. I'm, ex I'm definitely excited. Really excited. But, uh, once again, thanks for coming in, everyone. Uh, I, I have to say my player of the game is uh, – Johnny Juzang, is that yeah, your that, player of the game? That's mine Quickly's too. Right there, but I mean, Quickly is always consistent. Yeah. But I mean, Juzang came up big. I hope to see – he could have had even more if we gave him more looks. Yeah. But, yeah, Juzang's play, player of the game. And I also want to see Sestina really involved more in February. So, I mean, going to March with him Sestina really definitely activated. Look for Sestina to break out again uh, Tuesday at Vanderbilt. And, uh, once again, I want to give Keon Brooks a shout-out because he really did some stuff uh, – Aside from the playbook, yeah. the stat book. So definitely, really awesome like to uh, really uh, happy with the win today, and uh, be ready for our live stream Tuesday night, and we'll see you guys then.
Thanks for watching, guys. Go Big Blue. Nice. Go Big Blue. Go Big Blue.